<laughs> Whoa, wait, ha, <laughs> they can hear us. We're back. Welcome, everybody, to episode 28 of Towers and Gods. We are back and ready for more D&D. Welcome to the stream. If you're new to the show, this is Tower of God plus Dungeons and Dragons. It's a prequel story, and you're more than welcome to uh, stick around. And if you enjoy the series, check out older episodes. Uh, I feel like I just fit so much information, like 10 seconds there. Uh, <laughs> I am joined by the wonderful cast, as always. We have Sun Wu as Wu. Yo, let's go. We have other Joe as Damien Frog. Woo! I wasn't ready for my intro. Apologies. <laughs> I'm keeping We're you, professionals uh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have Hannah as Eden. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this most glorious stream. We have Isaiah as Jong. Yo, yo, yo. And we have Milios as Brack Bronson, Double B. Prepare for us to rob you blind because the syndicate is coming for that wallet. <laughs> right, Damien? Yeah, except we just spent our money on strawberry water. It don't matter, we're about to come up. <clears throat> <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> sure, actually, of course we are. Scary. The syndicate started out as like a joke and it's it's just kind of scaring me now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but uh, we're here. We're back. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you do, leave a like. We'd appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, any thoughts from anyone before we begin the recap? No more cliffhangers like that ever again. <laughs> this one actually caught me. No more. <laughs> I'm sorry. No more. Not, uh, not my intent. Well, actually, it was my intent. You know, I'm lying. It was my intent. I was about to say. Liar! <laughs> uh, yes. We, we will see. We'll see. I would say the whole episode last week, I was not prepared for any of it, and I didn't expect any of the twists and turns and how we ended up. Mm -hmm. I just expected this to be like, Damien tours, like since, takes us on a tour of his home floor and everything's gonna be great. We're gonna meet friends and, and people that he knew. And, and, and I was totally wrong. And <laughs> here we are once again, the trauma and the drama's flowing in folks, so. Buckle your pantyhose. <laughs> it sure, it sure is. It sure is. Are ready, guys? Because I'm pretty sure Sephiroth is going to show up in this episode. <gasps> oh shoot! Wouldn't that be hilarious if that was somebody else's other anima frog and that was like Horace Velger's rival? Sephiroth? Oh my god! <laughs> That'd be a twist for me. Yes. <laughs> no, I gotta be near Hulk. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Oh, that, is, yeah. that is fair. Um, also, I want to give a shout out actually to my wonderful fiance because I received some in the mail. It is an, a Towers and Gods dice tray, which is Look at it. Yo, freaking so it. Uh, tough. Yeah, Ooh. it completely came out of nowhere in a little pad that goes in here. So I want to give her a shout out. Thank you, Amy. Fire. Oh my Amy, god. Queen of Freak the Tower. Twist. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you guys are famous. Check it out. Oh. So I'll be using crazy. this from now on. I won't be losing my dice, hopefully, like hey. twice an episode. That's now we got, uh, now, Amy, now we're, we're going to need like five more of those low key. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, Send you your take addresses, you, mortars, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm blaming okay. the sun god for all of the strong rolls you get every single last <laughs> one. Yeah. Oh, actually, let me type the Discord really quick. There we go. And uh, okay, we can get started. So, last time. We arrived at the 21st floor, the aftermath of everything that happened on the 20th, linguist test, all that stuff. Um, yeah, so we did meet a couple of people. Uh, Damien's old boss, Thaddeo, uh, seems like a very friendly dude. 
Damien seemed to think maybe a little too friendly based on his previous interactions with his boss. Uh, and um, introduced to the Pascal as a whole. Uh, Victor's now broke, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Y'all rang him up, you know, wrung out all his money. So uh, he, he's doing poorly now, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens now. Uh, the main thing that happened at the very end is that the Coons are now uh, arguing. Victor and Jong, Eden trying to break him up, and now there's another Coon who showed up out of nowhere that Jong seems to know. So we'll see what happens. We'll start right about now. So, you're standing in front of, uh, let me move this really quick, to the Fermat District. You are in the Fermat District, near Betting Blessings. Jong, Victor, and Eden. He's standing there in front of the door, and his face is shocked. And he looks to be wearing fairly nice clothing. Uh, he seems to be well-dressed, but you notice he's also a bit um, disheveled looking. His hair looks kind of messy. You notice that his clothes are ruffled and a little unkempt, right? And uh, his eyes look tired. Uh, and he is just staring, shocked face at Jong. Jong, who is this? What are you doing here? You notice him looking around, and then he just starts bolting down towards the Pascal district, running as fast as he can. Hey! Jong immediately runs after him. Ah, shit! Eden, what do we do? Come on! And Eden bolts. All right, Victor, ugh, he throws up his hands and then <laughs> starts chasing you as well. All right, everyone, roll athletics for me. Everyone, Ooh. do this chase. Shit, we got ourselves an alleyway chase, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, feeling pretty good. Oh, poor good. Ooh. Athletics. Nice. What do we got? 19. 18. Okay, okay. Look at that. Jong and Victor tied. How cute. Oh, It's genetic, bro. How it's poetic, genetic. right? After everything. We're not allowed to roll over than 18. You're still family, it's in, right? It's in the blood, bro. It's in the blood. <laughs> okay. But don't worry, Eden's always faster. <laughs> <laughs> True, yeah, Eden just. Okay, so you're, you're running down the, uh, the the street. There's tons of people. You're, you're, you're running into a couple of them, but you're able to uh, gain ground on this coon that is escaping <laughs> your grasp. And eventually he's looking behind him and then he trips and falls hitting the ground while he was looking behind you. Ugh! And you're able to catch up to him. <laughs> when Jean catches up to him, he immediately like kneels down and puts his knee right on <laughs> his neck so they can't move. I asked you a question. What are you doing here? Are you a ghost? Come to haunt me? That depends. Is there something you need to be haunted for? Uh, and then suddenly, Jong, you feel a hand on your shoulder. You didn't feel this person's presence, but a hand is now on your shoulder. And, uh, Eden, you look over, and there's a man that is behind you. Please. Ah. Behind Jong, excuse me. Take your hands off of him. And the man is wearing a big cloak that is covering the top of his head and his back. So you can really only see his hand reaching out and touching you. But you see a bunch of tattoos of like lines running up his arm. Let go of the boy. Look, buddy, I don't know who you are, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Eden is gonna immediately step in between the tattooed guy and Zhang and like put her back to Zhang's back to like cover him. Okay. When you do so, he kind of backs away from Zhang and his hood kind of falls down and you notice that the man has purple hair, his head is half shaven, uh, on the other side it, it uh, runs down, long, long hair, so he's bald and then the long hair, and you notice the tattoos run up across his face, um, but the main feature you notice about this man is that he has four arms, and three arms 
are locked on to three weapons sheathed behind his back while the other arm was on Jong. Please. I don't want to fight. Neither do we, so just back off for a second. We have some business to deal with, your little friend here. And we'll be all be on our merry way in just a little bit. Eden, can you roll intimidation? I can. Uh, 14. Okay. Not my strongest. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Uh -oh. Listen. You don't scare me. And he's just looking you right in the eyes. And instead of you fe you intimidating him, you feel a bit intimidated by this man. You can feel that he's quite strong. Mm -hmm. Who said you needed to fear me? We just want to chat. Are you scared of talking? You have about 10 seconds before a fight starts. Nine, eight, eight. Okay, Seven. Jong, what are you doing during this time? <laughs> Jong is staring down at this man and just sort of like slowly applying pressure until he answers his question. What it, sorry, what, could you repeat the question, Meta? What are you doing here? I took the test. I, I'm climbing the tower. I mean, why did you leave the estate? What do you mean? To climb? You can feel him like trying to swallow and breathe. How oh, are you still alive? You could tell his face is just pale, as if he is seeing a ghost. Guess you're not as tough as you thought you were, or thorough. Uh, and at this point, Eden, Victor walks up. Hey, we're not here to start a fight, Eden. I know. Know who's in the wrong here. He's looking at Jong. Mm, we will disagree on that, but we'll get through it. Jong, do you have your answers or not? And reluctantly, Jong slowly gets up from the man and he grabs him like by his collar as if to lift him up and then just kind of pushes him like away from him. Okay, you send him sprawling onto the concrete. I want to make something coughing. very, very <laughs> clear. Don't let me find you here again or anywhere. Because the next time I see you, the only one of us that'll be a ghost is you. Understood? At this point, Eden, the man, your countdown was drawing very close to zero uh. when Jong did what he did. And the man just walks over to the coon and he's just looking at you the whole way. He's Shame. keeping a big glance on him. And then now he turns his eyes to Jong. And who are you supposed to be, his keeper? Simply a man that's taken interest in the boy. That's horrifying. He lets go of one of the sheaths with one of his four hands and reaches out a hand as if to shake yours, Jong. What is your Zhang, name? Zhang extends his hand like he's going to shake it, but then slaps the hand away. None of your business. I see. Shame, really. You would have fit our team quite well. Let's go. <laughs> Eden kind of puts an arm around Zhang and puts an arm around Victor and kind of pushes them behind him. They're my team. Don't get any funny ideas. He kind of just looks at you and raises an eyebrow. And then he turns to the coon. Let's go, Elias. Oh, we got the name. And he gets up from the ground and he looks as if he's going to grab something from one of his pockets. Eden pulls her bow but then instantly. He, he stops. Yeah, Elias, why don't you get out of here? You don't want things to get messy, do you? No. I'll get out of your hair. We, we're leaving this floor anyway. We'll have a lovely trip. Look, I... Looks like he's going to say something. What is it? He just shakes his head and then turns, and the two of them 
are walking towards the western district. And then you notice as soon as they leave, like clear the corner, Jong's kind of just... <sighs> okay. <sighs> Shit. So I'm guessing that was the reason you were upset. You want to fill Look, us in now? Let's find some place to talk that's a little quieter than the middle yeah. of the street. Is the hotel okay, or do we need to go somewhere else? Yeah, I guess the hotel works. Okay, let's let's go. While you're walking back, Victor kind of whispers in your ear, Eden. I think at some point I'd like to talk to you privately. Oh, so, uh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. And she kind of gives him his hand a squeeze, to, like. Hopefully everything's okay. <laughs> yeah, you can tell he's not in a not in a good mood. Yeah. Uh, and Victor's usually in a good mood. Yeah, he's pretty jovial all the time. So Eden, Eden's kind of like keeping an eye on him on the corner of her eye because she knows something's up, okay. and she's like, "Uh oh." Sure, sure. At this point, though, we will cut to Damien and Brack <gasps> at Dio Mart. What's Dio going Mart. on, guys? Dio what what is your uh, what's your plan? Frog, it looks like our business is about to be booming, for we have found the mother load of both strawberry drink and fruit to combine it with. We need a new clientele, though. How will we sell this? Actually, is Joe there? Joe, are you there? Might be out. I'm 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 here. Sorry, I was I oh. forgot we're muted. You're good. You're good. The problem we have is how are we gonna bring this amount of water back to the room? Brack just points towards uh uh his inventory. He just goes like, with this, my inventory reel. <laughs> you see all of these trinkets here? I don't use them. We can just stock this whole entire thing with. With the supply of strawberry water. I'm imagining that scene in the Matrix. <laughs> they just, they just them, it's like the arsenal. It's like, yeah. we'll put them all here. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. Excellent. Brilliant. Now, while you're gathering all this water, various fruit uh, flavors, uh, you notice that uh, Brooke is no longer on the cover. It's just a standard strawberry water. No, no model, no icon. Oh, time promotions tend to be a thing. Brock walks up to the counter with one of the strawberry waters in hand. What is this great value substance that you are trying to sell here? I thought this was an upstanding establishment. Uh, Why are you trying to sell me something that is generic? This is wait. not real. Hold I, on, buddy. Uh, uh, is there a problem? Yes. He's very confused. <laughs> I'm yes. sorry. Um. What kind of, uh, 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 what, what, should I get do my you boss? Not, do you not see the idol on the cover wait, of this? Don't get your this boss. Is... No, Brad, wait. Uh, I can okay. talk to my we, manager, my boss. We don't, need, we don't need the manager. Um, It's all right. It's okay. Um, Do we do we still want to get the water? I'm sure there's another, there must be something else that has an idol on it. I'm sure. Oh, you're, oh, the idol. Um, no, uh. Brooke is not featured on the any merchandise anymore, as far as I'm aware. Oh. So, is, so is this the same strawberry water that she used to be on? Yeah, of course. It's the same brand and everything. Well, oh, um, never mind. I take everything I, back. Good job. You, uh, Wait, uh, uh, how come how come Brooke is no longer featured on the strawberry water? Uh, well, she kind of looks around the store. You said you used to work here, right? Yeah. Yes. I feel like he's not going to get mad at me, right? She looks at Brack. Uh, d no. He, I'm he's... he's a super fan, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we've been, <clears throat> we've, we've been climbing the tower. We've missed, we've missed a lot of news. Well, uh, you might not be aware of this, but, um, 
Brock is missing. No Miss one, Kat. no one has cited her for months. When, for months. Uh, oh yeah. Um, no one's talked about her or heard about her, and people have appeared on the news saying that they have no sign of her. She's not responding to messages or calls. Yeah. A lot of her fans are pretty worried. Frog, it's, didn't Wu get her number? Yeah, yeah but... You, have, you know someone with her number? Uh, 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 I mean, uh, 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 I was uh, uh, able uh, to call her, too. Oh, so you have her number, too. Why don't but you go ahead and give her a ringy-ding-ding, -ding and let's see what she's doing. Well, I don't know if... If she's not answering her calls, then, I mean... We're just kind of confirming already what we know. Ah, right. But, but well, I mean... Yeah, sure. Let's call her. Okay, sure. You dial the number, and immediately it says, This number is no longer in service. That that's more than she 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 she's not answering the phone. She's she's gone dark. I'm sorry. How do you, how do you go dark with a pocket? Uh, you know her? Are you are you famous? Oh no no no! Nothing like that. We're not famous at all. In fact, the opposite, really. We're we're, we're we we just know someone who who she taught. He's uh he's in. He's an, right. he's an odd it, one. She was uh, teaching on the second floor, and that's when we met her. That's right. That makes sense. Wow, I'm jealous. Um, hey, are you buying all those waters? <laughs> yeah. Is there something wrong with that? <sighs> no, no said, I was just uh, making sure. You know. Just you said these are authentic. The you said these are authentic. Uh, so. Yeah. We'll take... Uh, Four cases of these, and uh, okay. we'll take uh, about a 50-gallon bag of those over there, those fruit. Mix them up. Do whatever you need to do. Just get them in the bag. Uh, we'll be out. You mean fruit, or do you mean uh, st st fruit-flavored water? I mean fruit. You just want We're 50 gallons of fruit, sir? Yes. Yes. Um, you heard the man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do, she says. Very good. Very good. Above the table, I dare say put them in the 50-gallon bag. Okay, right, sure. <laughs> okay, well, you notice that when she says that, she starts to leave and go towards another... But, like, the, the, um, the counter kind of extends quite a ways, and there's a door near the end of it, and she starts heading towards there. Um, Damien, you remember that door? That's sort of like the uh, employee room. Hmm. Well, that's exciting. Although nah. maybe we shouldn't go back there. You're right. We shouldn't do. We shouldn't go back there. What's the memory, she... though, Brack? I but spent she... so much of my life here. It was such a depressing part of my life. We managed to get the register on man. There's, there's, there's. Look, look at it. Look, look, Hold just, on a just second, Brack. Just sitting there twinkling, Hold on. sparkling. It's golden. All right. We, we, we no, have no, no, no. Brack, Brack, like Brack, listen. Take. No, Brack, listen. This place has, this is, this place is open 24 hours. 24 hour security. We're in, we're in the main part of this, of the city. Uh, we, we wouldn't, we wouldn't get like five steps outside the door without getting caught by the authorities. You notice what? Trace Velger carrying a huge pile of fruit in his arms and kind of like holding it as best as he can on two legs. Uh, well, you're, you're doing your best, bud. Oh, He's trying to God. walk out of the store. I, uh... Oh, he just steals it? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> they never saw it coming. What? He was in and out like that. <laughs> just, like nothing just, but a trail like, of slime. The froggy burglar. I have the widest eyes. I'm like, did, you, did that just really happen? <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. While we're at it right now, we might as well go ahead and take a peek inside that uh, employee office. Uh, yeah. Okay, sure. I mean, we probably shouldn't, but I mean, the memories, you know? 
the memories. As Brack looks back at the cast register, just with one single tear dropping from his eyes. <laughs> well, don't worry. Think of the think of the legitimate profits we'll get from the water. You know. That's later money. This was now money. <laughs> it's okay. it's okay. Later money will soon be now money. That's why it's an investment. You're right. And ah, now let's go take a look at your disturbing memories. And we now, right walk before towards before <laughs> you start heading towards there, you hear a voice right behind the both of you. Hello. Flux Falk just immediately standing there as if she was always there. <laughs> oh. oh, hello. Did you have a good uh, alone time? Can we talk, please? Just the two of you. Uh, sure. Yeah, I guess so. Um, she wants to join the syndicate. Yeah, yeah. We 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 could talk. What are we talking? We're talking business. We're talking. Where what, what are we talking? She grabs you both by the arm and leads you towards a corner of the. Brack is Brack is squirming. <laughs> just just envision a big tall man just squirming at the sight of like a five foot six girl just. <laughs> 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 she pulled it out. <laughs> okay. Um, so she leads you to the corner, and then she kind of stops and is just staring at the corner for a couple of couple of seconds, and then she turns back towards you all. I'm leaving. Oh, that's a surprise. I oh, happy I days. <laughs> <laughs> Go hold ahead. on a second. Hold on, Brack. I, uh, that's rather sudden. You said on the last floor you were sticking around for a while. I thought so, but I need to talk to Father. Oh. I'm worried about well. Soul. I'm worried about Cecil. And I'm worried about something that Father knows that I don't. I see. Well... The I trust the two of you more than anyone in the group. And she looks at both of you just longingly. I give, and... I give, I, I don't even look, but I give Brack like the, the high five. Like, I just raise Brack my hand. Brack his hand and just take the. <laughs> <laughs> there are a couple of things you should know. You can tell she, she looks quite sad. I'll miss you. And... Oh. Also, there's someone from Icehear here, but I don't think that matters too much. I don't think they're going to bother you. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful climb, and I will see you soon, all right? Like, how soon are we talking? We still need to have that talk still, too. And you two still need to kiss. And then I just nudge Damien. Wink, wink. Nudge, wink. <laughs> I, I immediately start choking. Like... <laughs> <laughs> That is true, she says and looks at Damien. I mean, I have a couple of minutes. You did promise her a date. Brock just starts singing You're for in the, the store. Tonight is I'm the in, night for dead. love. You know. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts singing the song. Well, if you only have a couple minutes, maybe we can save it for another time. Damn, how long did it take you to kiss? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just come on, man. Are you hearing ghosts? Therefore, again? I have the most experience. <laughs> you hear these ghosts? I'm hearing voices in my head. <laughs> they talk to they talk to me. They understand. Um, they sound like Wu, Eden, and Jung. Did they die? What do you mean? No. no, no, no. I don't. I don't hear any voices. But continue. There's also something else that I never told you about your new abilities. You see, um, you won't be able to use them while I'm gone, just so you know. What? I didn't oh. even get a chance to use mine the first time. Same. That's, that's your fault, I'm afraid. What? <laughs> be gone, witch. Be gone. <laughs> Go away. Go. Damien doesn't want you anymore. Go away. And be gone. I, that's th that, those aren't the words that are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> It's only I, I, I know, I know, I know. I'm making you play hard to get. Eventually, you'll learn how to master your own abilities. 
But for now, I'm sort of the conduit between you and those powers. So we can only use those whenever you're here? I'm afraid so. <sighs> Why does the Shinsu hate me? <laughs> oh, Brack, you're going to miss me that much. And she smiles. That is not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss you too. Really. Brack uh, moves Damien, like, right in front of him and, like, gently taps him towards Flux Vault. Okay, all right. I see what's happening. Okay, fine. <laughs> I step forward. And I put my hand on her shoulder. And I look up. And I look her in the eyes and I say, If this is something that you need to do, then you need to do it. We'll still be here. And I will miss you. And I hope everything's okay. For a moment, she seems genuinely touched. And then she just wears this super wide smile and her eyes turn red. And then it quickly fades away. Thank you, Damien. Truly. Just, like, stay safe out there. And then she licks her lips. Uh-huh. Brock turns just away. <laughs> and she's looking at you expectantly. Uh, I... This is all so embarrassing. It's happening in this place of all places, too. Um... And then suddenly the employee says, Hel Hello? We're having a moment here. Uh, oh. No she, yelling in she, the supermarket. She, she kind of backs away. <laughs> I give her, I give her a hug and I say, "Just you'll see us again soon." Right. And she kind of taps you back. And then we can have that talk. Are you crying? A little bit. <laughs> That's so sweet. I wish I was crying. This is the weirdest Are you <laughs> not capable of such a thing? She breaks away from the hug. We will meet again soon. And then she turns and starts to walk out of the store. But before she does, she turns back around and then stands on her toes and kind of gives you one more wave. And then she leaves, almost tripping over Horace Felger, who has returned empty-handed into the store. Oh, that's my frog. <laughs> that's my frog. <laughs> Brack, uh, Brack yells back because he's still turned away. And I guess he didn't notice Flux Volk leave out. Uh, yeah. He just asks Damien, did you kiss her yet? No, I didn't kiss her. I. Why not? Like, Damien, but we need to. We need to bring her into the fold. We need That's, her. But I'm not going to manipulate her. <sighs> <sighs> Little frog. I see what you have to deal with now. He's going to be hard. He's going to be a hard one to get across that finish line. But once we get him there, the syndicate will be strong. The syndicate will be mighty. <laughs> we will be the greatest thing in this tower. <sighs> Dang it. Gotta teach the, gotta teach the bigger frog how to be a gigolo. This is crazy. And Brock just walks over to the cash <laughs> register. I'm, I'm standing like what? <laughs> so when you walk over, the employee is just kind of standing there. Um, I'm sorry if I interrupted anything. I talked to my boss, and uh, we cannot unfortunately get you that fruit. I'm sorry, we we, we don't carry that much um, fruit. We're, we're, we're a convenience store. However, it, uh, if you were, and she pulls out a map, if you were to go here from the Pascal district up here, there is a store which might be able to service your needs. All right. Then we'll just take these other uh, four cases of assorted water, uh, assorted fruit water. Okay. <sighs> yeah, perfect. Four cases. That is going to be 80 points. Damien, pay the young lass. What is Brock, wait, Brock wait, puts the cases wait. in the inventory and books it out the wait, store. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, 80 points, please. I can't believe he's done this. <laughs> I can't believe he's done this to me. Sure, of all sure. people. <laughs> I, please, 80 points. I'm so Your sorry. Your friend did leave with the with the material. Um, <clears throat> I hope I don't have to call the security. <laughs> Take the. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna I'll, uh, cut. I'll, 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 I'll I'll pay for everything. Also, <laughs> someone stole some fruit. I, I I saw it happen. I'll pay for that too. What? what? Oh, oh gosh. Uh, thank you. We have security cameras. We'll look at it later. That's, oh, that's, no. that's, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, it was okay. really just more of a loan. It wasn't more of a steal. Um, so I'll pay for that fruit as well. Thank oh. you. So how many points do you send her? I don't know how much the fruit costs. We'll, we'll call it 20, so 100 points. All right. Cool. All right. At this point... We're going to cut to. I just Woo! got victored. You did just get victored. <laughs> it's gonna become a verb now. <laughs> That's true. I like it. Let's run that. All right. So, <laughs> Woo, you are in the West District, the Kepler District, currently at Reggie's Regular Lounge. And you oh. had met a certain individual. Let me go ahead and. Uh... Here we go. What do you say? What do you say? He's bouncing up and down. <laughs> uh, just, just, sure, we'll play a game. You heard that, everyone? He turns around. He's gonna play a game. My own brother gonna play a game with me. I'm so excited. Stop calling me that. I only have one brother, and it's not you. Well, isn't that mysterious and interesting? But, I hate here's you. my proposition to you. <laughs> what did you say your name was? Woo. That's right. Woo. Follow me. And he starts kind of quickly jogging towards the back of the lounge. And everyone kind of parts ways and they're all whispering with one another. Do they have alcohol at Reggie's? Anyone? <laughs> Someone kind of. Reggie! Like, Where's Reggie? <laughs> Reggie's dead, someone says. Oh, Reggie's dead. Gonna... <laughs> right, right, sorry to hear about that. Uh. Where, where, where? Who owns the place? <laughs> no, no one owns the the premises. It is a free zone for for regulars. What Reggie, so Reggie founded this lounge many years ago, but he's passed it's away. Food and beverage to the lounge. Um, uh, and then you notice that the big guy who is about to fight Taki kind of motions you towards him. What do you want? They don't, uh, they don't have any food or drink here, but I know a place. We got stuff in the back. We could, uh, provide you with whatever you want. Uh, how much is this gonna cost? It's a subscription service. Y you're kidding, right? <laughs> Infinite food and drink? What more do you want? I never plan to return to this place again. Do you follow Taki at this point? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. He leads you to the back and behind. So you, you notice this is like a, a two or three story building. So there's a flight of stairs and he kind of takes you behind the flight of stairs and he uh, leads you to a place where there are two machines leaned up against the wall. The machines look very extravagant and sparkly. They look kind of like arcade games, but you notice that at the very bottom, there's this giant spring and on top of the spring is a cushion. And you also notice that on the uh, the top of the machine, there is a name. Give me one sec. I want to make sure I get this right. The Stomping... So, The Stomping Talking is what it's called. The Stomping Talking. And you notice that that shouldn't be what it said because it looks like it's markered out and someone, like, wrote in front of it to, like, replace the name. This is my favorite game! Come on! Never would have guessed. Um, how do we is, play? This game is pretty simple. All it takes, and he puts his foot on the spring. Both of us will have 60 seconds to stomp as fast as we can. Now, you can stomp lightly for one point. If the spring goes down halfway, that's three points. And for every stomp that touches the bottom, 
five points. After the 60 seconds, whoever has the most points wins. Not to brag, but I'm the champion. And then everyone starts clapping. Woohoo! Oh, it's just great. What a lovely game. You know, Thank you, you know, I can see why you'd be good at something like this. Thank you. Appreciate you know, that. What do I get for playing your game? What do you get? <laughs> you see, I don't, I don't, I don't. There's no prizes games. here. We're here to have fun. No, 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 no. I don't play games. Well, I do with friends. You're not a friend. You're not family. Wait, I really, wait. really dislike you. So, I'm gonna need some sort of compensation when I dethrone you from this game. I'm pretty sure you said that whoever wins gets to learn a secret from the other. Does that sound good? Yeah, learn a secret and you pay for my subscription fee to Reggie's. Deal. Ah. He like quickly snaps his hand out. In the spirit of, of accepting the gamble, I shake his hand, but then I wipe it off on my on my pants like that. All right, of course, of course. <laughs> All right. Perfect. All right. He kind of motions you towards the left machine. There you go. That one's yours. And he steps in front of the right one. Can I, uh, can I roll to inspect the machines and make sure that they're both uh, the same? Sure. Go ahead and roll investigation. <laughs> that is... 16. You're just inspecting both of them? Yeah. Sure, sure. Um, when you start moving around, he says, what, what, what are you doing? Come on. There's no need to do all that. Come on, don't you trust me? I just met you, so no, I don't. So you're inspecting it, and your machine seems fine, and as you move towards the other one, he's like, hey, really, there's no need. What are you doing? There's no point Let to this. Let me just take a look at your custom machine. Fine. He backs away. It's hard to pinpoint, but there is a difference with his machine. You don't know quite what it is yet, but you have a feeling it has been tampered with. Baki. Yeah. That is your name, right? Uh, whoever gets the high score wins, right? Absolutely. So there's no reason for us to have to play simultaneously or on separate machines. I think it would make most sense for the spirit of the competition if we use the same machine. Sounds good to me. And he steps up to the right machine. No, 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 no. How about we use the one that doesn't have your John Hancock above the, you know, the display? Don't think too hard. Why not? You're the Sounds best like at a this plan. Game. We'll use the left machine. You're you're in charge. <laughs> well. <laughs> ah. Hey, hey, can we get guys? Give it up for Taki, the reigning champ. Yeah. Woo! They're kind of confused by clapping. <laughs> so, uh, since I've never played before, how about you go ahead and show me how it's done? I'd love to. He steps up to the machine. <laughs> He's hyping himself up. One minute later. Two minutes later. What? No. <laughs> all right. I gotta, I gotta I'm ready. Just give me some time. All right. Give me some time. All right. He puts his foot on the spring. Here we go. And then his foot is just like lightly pressing the top of it. Just extremely quickly. Okay. Now he's moving like a really, really quick pace to the point where he is not, you can tell the spring is barely moving. He's really just touching it over and over and over and over and over with his foot. Just really, mm. really, really quickly as the seconds are going by. And from start to finish, the pace is kept up extremely consistently. Time! What's that? What's that? He looks at the score. Seventy points. 
sorry, 700 points. 700 points. I was going to say, yep, you have that lightly for 60 seconds, you only Woo! got 70. <laughs> wow. Woo! He kind of flexes his muscles, and everyone starts chanting, Woo! Taki! Taki! Not yeah, even my personal best? No, 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 no. Personal best is 999. Wow, so the machine only goes up to 999, does it? Yep. Refresh my memory. If I push the spring all the way down, I get five points per press. Yep. Yeah. I take out my gourd and take a swig. Let's give it a try. All right. Now, what do I got to do to put to what am I rolling for? All right. So you step up to the machine. Now, if you're trying, are you are you trying to go for the big stomps? Uh, yes. I'm going to rapidly big stomp it as fast as I can. Okay, sure, sure, sure. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is make just okay. What is your addition to athletics? Just tell me that. What do you what do you get off of athletics? Plus five. Plus five, perfect. So what I'm gonna have you do is roll a d20 mm -hmm. ten times and just tell mm -hmm. me the numbers and I'll do the math. Okay. Woo! Big rolls. Thirteen. Okay. Two. 11, mm -hmm. 16, okay. 20, let's go, okay. 14, how many is that, like 6? 1, 2, 3, yep, that's 6. Uh, that's in that one. Oof, beautiful. And that's an 18. And another 18. Okay, nice. And a uh, seven. seven That's it, right? Yes, that is it. Yep. Okay. Let me go ahead and figure this out. I have a trick up my sleeve if I lose, though. <laughs> I'm just letting of you know. Course. Okay, okay, okay. Let me figure this out really quick. Okay, perfect. You walk up to the machine and you're pressing it down extremely quickly. You are almost matching his pace, even though he was lightly tapping and you're just doof, 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 stomping it down all the way, all the way. And eventually you're getting so into it that the area is kind of shaking a little bit and everyone's like, what? Who is Joe, it? we can't hear you. Yeah, I couldn't hear him. I thought it was me. Nah. My bad, sorry. Stream could hear me, but <laughs> I muted on Discord. All right. So you walk up to the machine and you are just stomping down and what's crazy is that despite the fact that you're stomping down and pressing the spring all the way down, you are just behind his pace when he was lightly tapping it. And Taki's like, <laughs> and eventually it is getting harder and harder. Um, so your pace is slowing down. The points are tallying up and tallying up and tallying up and tallying up. And the minute ends and you look at the scoreboard and it is. 879. Okay. Oh, Alright, so above the table, if I had lost, I was gonna make the last stomp too strong and break it. Kind of like how Vegeta <laughs> did during the world <laughs> tournament. And then yeah, wouldn't be able to tally the points, but you know? Yep, yep, yep. And I turn around and I have the widest grin on my face. <laughs> Everyone just kinda... erupts. Woo! And I <laughs> lean in real close to him. That was kind of fun, wasn't it, brother? You are incredible! And he joins in with the clapping as well, as everyone's just clapping for you. Wow! That was that's amazing! You are a natural. You're you can serious, tell he's you can tell you? he's a little bit a hint of uh he wanted to win. He's pretty competitive. But he's impressed at the same time. I'm not the one that wrote my name on top of the machine. Look, he puts his arm around you. How would you like to be? co-owners of this place you know you nobody me. owns reggie's they just told me that no 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 but the regulars here we have this thing right and he's kind of using armors around you as he's trying to lead you back towards the main area look here's the deal I'm right just looking at, i'm just looking at his hand on my shoulder i'm not even looking at it look here's the deal right 
No one officially owns the place, but we do have a tradition around here, at least that's what people tell me, that the people who rule this place are the people who act like they do. And there's always a regular who thinks they own this lounge. But Dan, he's a chump. I was just about to take him down before you came in. You and me, we could be the new leaders of Reggie's. Well, it's great to know that the family is raising the youth to have such great ambitions these days. Uh, what's in yeah. it for me? What's in it for you? You get to be friends with Lopo Biataki. No oh, joy. And you can climb the tower with me. <laughs> <laughs> what, something funny? Uh, no. You, everything you say is sincere, isn't it? Of course! Also, and the fact that you were able to, and he whispers, learn my secret about that other machine, I'm impressed, honestly. Well, I mean, like I said, don't trust you. But, how about we get to the part, before I entertain your offer, how about we get to the part where you honor your end of the bargain? Absolutely. Private or with the, in front of the whole group? Well, first, there was a matter of uh, my subscription fee to Regents. Right! Dan? And Dan says, wait a minute. I'm still the leader around here. And everyone's like whispering amongst each other. <sighs> hey, listen, Wu, brother, bro. Can I call you bro? Bro. How about you come no. over tomorrow <laughs> night? All right, tomorrow night. This whole matter will be resolved by then, and we can have a little chit chat. Sound good? And I get my secret at that point. You get your secret, you get your subscription, you get to meet the rest of my team who aren't here right now. What do you say? Uh, I just have to ask you one question. You have sure. no idea who I am, do you? I can tell by your accent that you're from the family. That's all that matters to me. Background, and past, doesn't matter. We're family. And as long as I go along with your plans, you have no intention of telling anybody else about me. Why would I do that? All right, Taki, I'll be back tomorrow night and uh, I won't breathe a word about your little secret that you got going on here. Sounds good, bro. See you later, bro. Uh, 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 woo. Woo. What if I just leave? Bye, bro! He waves as you uh, <laughs> exit the building. Now, everyone, you're ending your respective tasks, exiting Dio Mart, heading back toward the hotel, leaving Reggie's. But at the same time, all of you receive a message from Leaf. And the message says, can we talk? I'm at the hotel. What? And then she says, nothing's wrong. Kind of like panicked with a bunch of exclamation points afterward. <laughs> and then she says, I just want to talk. And then says, that's it. And then smiley face. Is everyone heading back to the hotel? Yes. I, say, I okay. think my group should already be there by now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got the uh, message like as you're entering. Okay. Can you show me the map again? Uh, yeah, absolutely. The main circle before. Boom. Yeah, there we go. Uh, before I head back to the Vermont district, I want to stop at Barnabas's potions. <laughs> okay, sounds oh good. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so we'll brief. We'll we'll cut back to just a minute. But uh, yeah, yeah. Eden no, and John, yes. you have now arrived at the hotel, and the receptionist says, "Welcome back." And then she looks at you, John. Oh, you found your key. Not yet. His roommate is going to be here soon, but we're going to go have a talk in our room, so we'll be in charge of him. Not a problem. Uh, absolutely. Have a lovely night. Uh, you as well. Thank you. And uh, you head up the stairs. Your room is on the second floor, so it doesn't take you very long to get there. And uh, yeah, you go ahead and enter your room. Now, um, Leaf is still in her room. Okay. Do you want to stop? I think we room? need to iron this out first and then we'll, okay. we'll join back up. Sure, sure, it's sure, like, sure. it's two separate rooms, right? Yeah, there's four like, rooms. Four rooms for all of you. Four rooms, okay, okay. Yep. Okay. At this point, you have entered the room. 
Okay. Let's iron this out. All right. Victor just leans against the door. Zhang, do you want to... Do you feel comfortable telling us about... Elias? And whoever he was with? Right now? <clears throat> if you're not, it's okay. No. Fine. You've already met him, so... I suppose it's just a matter of time. <sighs> well, like I said, the Kuhn families hold a special bout each year to decide who gets to be a member of the family. The winners get that recognition, that status, access to all the elite benefits of the Kuhn family. And the losers. Thrown out. Yeah. Elias. Uh, was. My opponent. In my bout. Okay. During my bout, it's, well, you see, <laughs> the Kuhn family doesn't really care what the outcome of these fights are. So, you know, anything goes type situation. If you're yeah. beaten, if you're killed, doesn't matter. After <clears throat> After Elias won, he stabbed me right in the heart. Oh my gosh. I was dead. What? Okay, so... You thought you were dead. And then Zhang slowly goes to unzip his hoodie. Mm -hmm. And when he does, right on the right side of his, his body, where his heart would be, there's a huge black and blue scar and it looks like there's a bunch of like torn skin and it's burnt and there's kind of it like circles and it kind of like it goes in all these different directions. It looks like really just gnarly and, and ugly. Oh my yeah. Gosh, I thought I was dead. Turns out Elias wasn't as thorough as he thought. Did your master heal you? No. Um, <clears throat> he's actually the one who burnt the scar so that it would close. Oh. Anyway. That's it. That's the reason why I got so shaken. He shouldn't be here. Thought he would just be at the estate. I don't know why he's here. And I don't know who that person is with him. Jung, I, uh... He kind of talks and looks to you as if he can. And then he just continues. I... Um, you know, that, uh, 
It sucks. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Our family is, uh... Shit. But something about... Something that Elias said made me wonder. He really thought he killed you, huh? Yeah. Hmm. He kind of just looks at you. Interesting. Did everyone... Something you'd like to add? Just a little curious, if you'll indulge me. I've seen coons die before in the fights. Not exactly super rare. Did the family... What happened after the fight? Do you know? No. I don't. I, after I was, um... Excommunicated from the fight, I was tossed outside the mansion. I woke up in a field in the middle of the rain. Some time had passed, I'm not sure how much. In horrible amounts of pain. But alive. That's horrifying, Jong. I'm so sorry. That's why you hate the family? I get it. That's, uh... No. Victor, that's not why I hate the family. Because after my fight, my mother was murdered in cold blood. Did Elias do it? Because we can go kill him right now if he did. Eden? I don't know. But I will find out. Okay. How do you... He kind of talks and then just... Speak up. How do you know that she's dead? I mean, you don't remember anything from afterward. Maybe she's still out there. She's dead. That much I know. And, um, Eden, you look, you're looking at, you know, obviously your attention is on, on Jong, but you, you notice Victor kind of is looking at Jong and a sad kind of expression comes on his face just for a moment. And then he gets up from leaning against the door and kind of walks over a little bit closer. Where are you right now, Jong? Are you sitting on the bed? Are you standing? Yeah, he's sitting on the bed. He sits on the bed across from you. Look, um, none of that happened to me. I'm not going to claim that I know what's going on. But, uh, my mom's dead too, you know? And, uh, I feel like that much at least I understand. So, hey, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for, I'm sorry if I've ever done something other than exist, because I can't exactly stop that. I'm sorry if I've done something that has made you hate me in particular. But if you hate the family and everyone in it, 
that's your call. And can't exactly say that I blame you. So, yeah. Yeah. When I look at you, I see them. All of them. All the brothers and sisters that I had that spent my entire childhood belittling me and my mother because I didn't have the guts to do what a coon needed to do because I didn't have the backbone to lie, to cheat, to steal, to kill with a smile on my face. When I look at you, I see all the ambitions of the Kuhn family. Victor, I didn't stay alive for 14 years by trusting people, especially my own family. So, no, I don't hate you for no reason. I hate you because from where I'm standing, I don't have a single reason to trust you. And I know all too well. It's what we're raised to do. Can you prove me wrong? Do I have a reason to trust you? Is there something I can do to prove you wrong? Anything? Save your life? Bring you... I don't know. What do you... You tell me. You tell me, because I'm willing to salvage this team. Kind of looks back at you, Eden. Eden just kind of has her head down. She's just looking at her. Back. And you can see that, like, Jong is thinking about what Victor said. The contact that you said you have inside the family who gets you money, I want to meet him. You want to meet the contact. That's what I said. You can't exactly do that there at the Kuna State. I don't, I haven't seen them or seen them in person at least since. But you're in touch I, with them. Sure. So schedule a meeting. Surely if they're willing to send you points whenever you request it, a meeting isn't out of the question. You don't mean a physical meeting, right? No, Victor. I'm, just... I'm going to Skype them. Yes, a physical meeting. Oh. That's not well, going to be a problem. I can ask. I can ask. It's what's on the table. I can't guarantee that they're going to say yes, but I can ask. John kind of looks at him very quizzical. That's all well, I can do, right? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, Eden, did you want to say anything before I cut to someone else? She just gets up off the bed and just gives Strong a really big hug. Because she doesn't know what to say. Eden, it's, it's fine. It was forever ago. It clearly isn't forever ago. Not the way you reacted today. Those scars are still fresh, no matter when they were dealt. Just kind of squeezes his shoulder and sits back on the bed. And you can tell Zhang, like, goes to move his arm like around Eden to go like return the hug, mm -hmm. but then he pauses and puts his arm back down. You can hug me, it's okay. <laughs> Above the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are gonna cut away uh, to a different group. We're gonna cut to Damien and Brack, who received the message from Leaf. You're leaving Dio Mart. Do, do you wanna just head to the store? Is that your plan? The store? You mean the I hotel? Mean, yes. Sorry. 
All right, so after Brock finishes his mad dash out of the store, he waits for Damien to come out. And I guess at that time, we get the boop on the pocket. Okay. We get the message from Leaf. And, um, so, uh, 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 Frog, are you ready to go back to the hotel? Yes, yes, yes. I'm ready to go back to the hotel. Sorry for stiffing you and leaving you with the bill. I don't think you are. <laughs> but it's all good. It just sounds better if I say sorry. You know, we're in this together. You know, I, I feel that. I paid a little bit of extra for money. We've got to be very careful on this floor. And very uh, high very high security, especially in these parts. As you're walking and talking, Facebooker jumps on your shoulder, Damien, and then you feel like a a weird kinda piece you know, something kinda bump you in the neck and you notice he's still holding the steak knife, kinda looking around. Ow, be careful with that. <laughs> give me that, actually. He does how not does... want to give it to you. <laughs> no, go <don't> give it. <laughs> Come on. How does he still have the knife? <laughs> Where did he stash it? Give it here. Grace <laughs> you really don't need that. I appreciate what you did. All right. And after that little stunt you pulled in the mart, um, I got you out of that. Brack just puts his hand next to uh, Race Vogel's uh, uh, little hand, like for a fist bump, because he actually got away with the fruit. He gives you a little quick fist bump, and then he, he gives you the knife. All right, cool. He gives Brack the knife? <laughs> yeah, he gives Brack the knife. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Okay. Brack just twisting the knife in his hand like, told you, my frog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I may as well give you this too. I pull out my baggie of popcorn. Here you go. Uh, well, hold on now. I didn't say he, he was living with He me. needs one of these every hour. <laughs> or he gets feisty. You, you still have the bowl. I'm, 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 I'm not a, I'm not an animal tamer. What, what are you, what are you this, trying to do to you me? You take this baggie. <laughs> Like a bitch. Don't, don't go look at me like that. I'm mad. I'm real mad. All right. <laughs> Flux folk just walked out on us, and I don't even know how to feel. I mean, I have a lot of feelings about that, but that's you not had, at all how I wanted it to go. And it ended up being way her, worse Frog. than I thought. Frog, you had the opportunity to kiss her. You let her walk away. I like, I, I can't do that, Brack. Well, why can't. can't you do it, huh? Why can't you do it? Brad gets down on one knee to look him right in his eyes. Why can't you do it? Huh? There's so much. There's so much uncertainty. I don't even know if she's in control of her own actions. What? 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 what, 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 what. You, you I. I'm. You're almost. I the care hotel, about. Another I, minute. I, I do care about her. I really do, but. If if it's between me or Iseer, it's it's or father, it's it's she's gonna choose father every time. You don't know that. You'll be surprised what people would be willing to do, what they would be willing to defy for the sake of a little love. <laughs> Brack has stories. <laughs> not 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 today. But maybe tomorrow. But not today. Well, you'll have to fill me in on that. I Apparently, will. you know quite a bit about Scythe users. About her kind. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, let's right. just go ahead and make our way back to the uh, the old hostel. You, you end up making it back to Betting Blessings, and uh, you walk inside. Uh, woo! Cut to you. You chose to walk into Bartimus' potions, correct? Yep. Okay. You walk inside, and this building, you can just tell, freshly painted, uh, much more modern than a lot of the other buildings that you've seen, aside from uh, Observe and Reflect, which also appears to be a little bit more on the modern side. And uh, when you walk in, you know, there's a pretty jovial sort of attitude outside as everyone's walking by, but this store is just, as soon as you shut the door, 
dead silent. Just dead silent, and uh, it's kind of dark in here. Not much lighting. The windows are are kind of closed for the most part, letting a little bit of light inside. Um, and you kind of hear just this. The only noise you hear is way in the back of the store, just kind of like bubbling, just like sounds coming from a pipe or a tube. I and love uh, smell like you hear. <laughs> And then you hear a voice coming, and you can, you can see it's not that dark, but just like more dim. And you, and you see someone at the counter. It looks to be um, a middle-aged man. Welcome. How can I help you? I, uh, I was looking for some potions. I figured I'd stop by. And you know, the, the more you walk into the store, you look around and you see shelves and shelves and shelves and just lines and lines and lines of potions. So, uh, yeah, what kind of potions you got for sale? I need something strong and not too expensive. Absolutely. Is there a purpose that you have for the potion that you have in mind? We can even concoct uh, a potion for you based on a custom request. No, 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 no. Before I, before, before I ask you about any particular items, I just need to ask you one thing. This shop, it, it, it's owned by... Uh, the Bartimus. Bill A. Bartimus, uh, the second himself, son of Bill A. Bartimus, the first mm -hmm. yes, founder yes, of the Bartimus Empire and right, right. leader and father of, of the estate. Bill A. Bartimus the third. I'm sorry, who? Okay, we can shop here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, primarily healing potions would be would be appreciated. Healing potions, we have. Many of those kind. Let me see what I can find. He opens a little itinerary. Yes, we have none of them are pink, here. are they? We do have the pink variety. I don't want the pink variation. Um, we can add a little bit of dye if you would like. No, no. <laughs> okay, you know what? You swear by the effectiveness. What's the efficacy of these these pink potions? These potions. And he pulls out one from under the shelf, and you can see the bubbles are still rising. Perfected by. The Bartimus Empire. Mm -hmm. These potions will restore your wounds in an instant. Mm -hmm. As How soon much? as you drink it. Well, this one is a rather large one. This one will cost you a thousand points. However, multiple swigs per potion. Uh, and you don't have any smaller variations? We do indeed. You may buy a case full of small potions. Single use, I take it? Single use. How much and how many come in a case? For 2,000 points, you can get a case of eight healing potions. All right, uh, would you mind if I take a look at the bottle real quick? Please be delicate. You break it, you bought it. Yeah, sure it's enough. As a matter of fact, I think I might need to sample this, and I place it down. Oh, um, we do not allow sampling. That is uh, against no. our regulations, you hey, see. Hey, yeah, yeah, shut up. I'm rolling intimidation. Scare <laughs> <laughs> him. Uh, 15 plus 3. 18. <clears throat> you can tell he's... A little scared by that, a little uh, unexpected. <laughs> Please. <laughs> look, 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 I'm sure <clears throat> that your boss would love to make the sale that I'm about to, to uh, I'm willing to make a, a heavy purchase, but I just need to be sure that this is the product I'm looking for. And I pull out my staff. I want to attack this man. I want to thrust the staff. Okay. Into, into his gut. What? Hard enough to that, he, that there's a visible bruise and some blood coughed up. Go for it. What am make, I rolling? Uh, Strength? Just, Athletics? Just an attack roll, as if you were just an attack a roll. attack, yeah. Oh my Ooh, God. It's a 16. That hits. <laughs> they call me abusive. You all here beat up a shopkeeper. Roll that damage. Uh, let's just call it, let, forget the death. Let's say, let's just call it like oh, two okay. damage. I just, okay, I just, okay. Yeah. I just need to see that the potion works. I kind of grab him by the shoulder, lift him up. You'll be, you'll be okay. You'll be just fine. Like you said, top tier potion, top tier potion. I lean his head back. He pour it down. Are you still holding him? Uh, I let him go. 
Ah, uh, the effects aren't immediate for this one. It takes uh, a few hours to set in. I could have sworn you said it was an immediate effect. No, 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 I never said that. I'm pretty positive you did. Uh, not this, we have immediate effects. <laughs> well, grab that one if you, I'll pay for that one too if you want to get yourself up and right again. Show me the one with the immediate effect. Uh, uh, um, sure. Uh, and he runs into the back room, if you'll let him. I'm going with him. <laughs> okay, so he is, he, so like the counter's pretty low, so you were able to grab him and like hit him. You have to oh, climb over the oh, counter. Oh, he just runs, okay, okay, okay. You, you can climb over the counter if you want to. I will climb over the counter. Okay. I want to see where he's getting his potion from. He goes into the back room, but please don't, don't, don't follow me. I, I have to see. It's, I want you, to see you drink it. Pause. The door behind him is shut. I can't let you in there. Look, I just came here to spend some money. You're making it very difficult for me to do so. If you would please, you, do, you don't want me to hit you again because My we can test how much it's for too. Let me get it for you then. Just show me where the bottle is. No. That you can find, there are bottles in the store. Look for yourself, there's descriptions under the bottles. For God's sake. If you don't get the potion now, I promise you the last hit that I gave you will look like a love tap. Uh, 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 you, if I, Five. Uh, four. Uh, he reaches into his pocket and pulls out a set of keys. He starts jangling and he inserts it into the door and then slowly opens it. And he tries to like slide in and tries to shut the door before you. Athletics catch check. <laughs> yes, on. you can do acrobatics as well. I'll. I'll uh, uh, I think that option. Oh, it depends no, on if you want to like better. catch the door or if you want to like make it inside. I, I want to make it inside. So let's do so acrobatics. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well then, for acrobatics is plus three, so fourteen. Yeah. So he was surprisingly quick with trying to shut the door, but you are able to barely make it inside. The door does kind of hit you for a second and then it shuts with the two of you in the room. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, please, he gets on the ground. Please, please don't hurt me, please. I'm please, not please. going to hurt I you. I need this job, take... I need this job, I need this job. And the room and is just filled with like bubbling tubes that lead Look, into man, the ceiling. I have somewhere to be. If you, I'm, I'm not trying to get you fired. I want to give you money to show me that the potion works. <laughs> okay, okay. He gets up and opens a few drawers and finally pulls out a green potion. He unscrews it and just starts gobbling down the whole thing. He just chugs the whole thing. <laughs> Doesn't taste great, does it? No. So, how much for that one? He burps. <laughs> and then he falls onto the ground unconscious. Oh, shit. Uh, I summon Mizaru. <laughs> Mizaru appears on your shoulder. Mizaru. I messed up. <laughs> uh, look, just uh, tell the boys they can all come out for a second. I know it's taxing on me, but just I, I, I need the hands here. I okay. send them back. And I try and summon all three. Roll animal handling. Sixteen plus whatever it's six, I think so. Twenty-two. It definitely is very. It's taking all your focus. You wouldn't be able to do this in a fight by any stretch of the imagination, and you can't use their abilities. However, all three of them, pew, pew, they do all pop out. Oh. All right. Look. Two of you. They're looking concerned. <laughs> they're take, looking, take, uh, take that man and slide him back over there behind that drawer, that that dresser over there. They, uh, so Kikizaru and Iwazaru pick him up by the feet and are slowly dragging him over. And then, uh, Miwazaru, or Mizaru is tapping him on the shoulder. Yep, yep, he's, just, just. He's tapping you. Yep, what, what is it? And he's pointing up and you see where he's pointing, there's a security camera in the corner. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Uh,. The rest of you, come back, leave him there. Every potion that you can hold, 
in these drawers. Bring them to me in the center of the room. <laughs> they hesitate, and then they immediately get to work, gathering up all the potions they can find in all the different drawers. And there is a lot of them, of basically every color you can imagine. Some just of the, take, some of the potions all have multiple. Bring them all they, out. They, they bring them all out, big, small, and they just put them all around you. Alright, give me a blanket number of potions that they just took. 45. 45 potions of all types. Yep. Some of them are multicolored. Uh, I store them all in the gourd. I stick my tongue out at the security ca camera. <laughs> Say good job to the boys, give them a high five, and stroll out. You could have the cameras! <laughs> nah, they can see me. <sighs> Alright. Are you gonna head to the hotel now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bail out so many people from jail on this floor by the time we leave. <laughs> okay! Perfect! That's probably you my start... favorite part of this whole episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my god, this is my man just beat and robbed this dude. Beat to rob him, bro. You're like, I don't want to hurt you. You're making this so difficult. Oh my god, that is the epitome of stop making me hit you, though. Like that whole thing. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting me. But I love like the pure acknowledgement when he passed out of like. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me too. That was the best part. <laughs> All right, you leave the store and you're heading to the hotel. <sighs> oh, man. All right, so um, Eden and Victor, uh, and sorry, Jong, I should say. Um, at this point, do you head to Leaf's room? Um, or are you continuing I'll your to come private here. conversation? I'll leave her room. <laughs> okay. So, We're partying in our room? Okay. <laughs> So you see that Laura is in there as well. So Laura and Leaf, they both welcome you into the room. And then very soon afterward, uh, Damien and Brack, you arrive as well, and they welcome you into the room too. Hey, uh, do you know where Wu is? Ah, uh, I don't. I'm imagining he'll be here soon. He said he was just going to like explore and look around. Which is code for he's probably getting into some kind of trouble. You're not wrong, but that's how Wu operates, and we've all known that by now. <laughs> Have some faith in Wu. I'm sure that he is doing something you... not war crimey at all. Probably. Trust not. me, I've spent a lot of time with Wu, and uh, I'm a little worried, but sure, let's hope everything's okay. Um. So yeah, you've got a good Colin? feeling about this. Leaf, he, he, no, he, uh... no, he knows he's coming. Um, can we talk? Yeah, you okay? I, uh, first of all, have any of you slept? Uh, we're gonna get there. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Did you sleep well? Yeah, she looks kind of embarrassed. No, you need your rest. It's okay. Yeah. Um, and she just sits down. And then she stands back up. Oh, you all, please take a seat. Um, get, make yourselves comfortable. I want to talk about something important. Do you all sit? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're all sit. Sure, 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 sure. Okay, um, I know we were kind of rushed out of the 20th floor, and so... I'm not blaming you or anything. But can you describe what exactly happened? Why did Fluxvolk show up suddenly? And what happened with Lord Signe? And is it connected to... And she kind of hesitates. You know what? Yeah. And you can, you can tell she's implying ice here. It literally was all of that. Lord Signe, another one of her children showed up, showed up. His name was Sol. He's part of that. Even just kind of like implies. And we had to hold him off until the authorities arrived. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't be here talking with you at all. Mm 
Did any of you <clears throat> demonstrate something that you... I heard of Roar when I was watching over Leaf, and uh, I can't really explain it, but I, I spent a lot of time with Wu, and even though I'd never heard him do that, something tells me it was him. And is everything okay with all of you? She's looking at each of you, especially the four of you. Well... Do you want the truth? Oh, of course. We're a team, right? Of course. That was indeed Wu. We were all given a special power during that fight. Fluxfolk awakened something in many of us. I, for one, had a very weird lizard arm. Hence why it was all bandaged up after the fight. She looks shocked. I'm... She kind of looks at the others to kind of confirm what he's saying. Name just nods her head. That's the truth of the matter. And, Le and Lord Signe perished in the battle, which caused Sol to attack us on sight. And somehow, Flux, Vulk, and Soul knew each other. So, it was a little... It was fortunate that she was there, but it was also a little bit terrifying, not gonna lie. Gotcha. Um, what about the rest of you? What did she unlock in you? I never got to use it. I don't know. You're not sure? Well, she awakened something, but I never got to use it. Up above the table, would, would Eden know what the ability was? Um, you would have a pretty... All of you who received it, you would kind of have this weird feeling of, like, you don't know exactly what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But you... you I would say you mostly understand like the the base sort of um, what the like the vibe was. of the ability. You know, maybe Got not exactly what will happen, but yeah. what's behind that, I suppose. Well, I couldn't use mine because people in this group uh, don't listen to instructions well, and if I would use mine, probably would have injured or downed all of them. So well, I didn't. And she turns to you, Jong. What? What about you? Oh, yeah. Mine was just an ability. It traps people in bubbles. Sorry. What? <sighs> basically, no, he blew no, a bubble kit. Sorry, <laughs> I know I was gonna say basically he blew bubble kisses. They went before they could even t attack the enemy. But if the attack landed, I'm sure it would have been very cool. It would have been great. Mm -hmm. That's that's an amazing ability. You guys are so irritating. <laughs> well, what about you, Brack? Brack crosses his legs, and then he just goes, "Well." I didn't get to use mine. And then he just turns away. Oh. Turns his head away to the side. Oh, now that's not fair, Brack. I gave you a hint of mine. We were the only <laughs> she looks, ours. She, she kind of looks at you like, as if, really? You're not going to tell me? <laughs> Come on now. You, you, you know the penance when you need information from old Brack. Okay. <clears throat> My, my, my point, my, my point in all, and I'm going to say, pulls a bottle of this... strawberry water out of her quiver and tosses it to Brack. Spill uh, it. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Wait, what did you say? I missed it. Sorry. Sorry. No. I, pull... okay. Oh, okay. I was going to talk to you really quick. Um, so as you hand the bottle to Brack, well, I'm going to say this is when you arrive at the hotel. Okay. 
You enter the room, and then Leaf just crosses her arms. Where were you? I make my way over to the window and look out kind of shadily. Nowhere? What did you... She's just rubbing her forehead. What did you do? Nothing. Long story. Uh-huh. So, you want to talk? Yeah. Well, everyone explained to me that you know what stuff, you can roar, all that stuff, but... The main reason I wanted to ask about all of this was because I feel like the more we climb, whether it's on the second floor or in Art Limory or the Linguist family, it, it just seems like everything is revolving around them. And... Is that okay? Can we do anything about it? Can we... Do we know anything about them? Is 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 there something I can do to help with it? I just... All right, and I put my hand on her shoulder. Relax, relax. I get where you're coming from. And I'm just gonna be honest with you. We don't know enough and there's literally nothing we can do. You're not hiding anything else from me? Leaf, I've never hid anything from you. If you ask, I'll tell you the truth. The only thing I can say about ICR is that they're an organization and apparently we're important to it. And that's really all I know. I don't know why we're important, but we have a lot of value in that organization. But that being said, I'm not exactly... Like, I'm not part of that organization. I don't really know exactly what we mean and what our role is supposed to be. She turns towards you, Eden. Do you think... Was Mr. Nissan a good person? Um... I think he had a lot of things right in his heart, but his mind was manipulated into doing things in badly. So I can't say that he was necessarily all good or all bad. He was just confused and led astray and did terrible things. I didn't know him long enough to make any other judgments. Is Icear evil? And she kind of covers her mouth. Based on what we know so far, I'll be honest with you, Leaf, they terrify me. I don't know. I really know. don't know. Oh, pardon me. No, you're good. I, I think, Damien, you and I are in the same boat. I don't know what to make of them. Other than they're trying to use us for something. Whether it's... They're worshipping us for some reason, or we're tied to them, or... I don't know if I've told you all this, but... I think I hinted at it. I, I don't know. It's been a long time, but when I talked with Regulus on the second floor, when it was just him and I, he said that if he had it his way, he would have killed all of us. But he didn't. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that was personal or what, but that that's disturbed me still. So I don't know if we're going up against everything that this tower holds or if we're some sort of threat. I don't know. I just know that all of this terrifies me and I think the farther we can stay away from it as much as we can because, you know, Foxfall can just show up whenever she wants, I guess. Um, 
Where is she, by the way? She's kind of at the center of all this, right? Right. Um, well, um... Did you find her? Or rather, me did and she Brack. find you? Yeah. Well, me and Brack, we uh, ran into her. Oh, dear. And she is leaving once again. Again? Shock. Yes. Oh, where she'll be back. Yeah, I don't think they have to miss her that much. I am surprised I... that she's leaving so soon. I didn't really get to know her that well. You're not missing much. Trust me, yeah, you, Agreed. Don't, you don't want to get to know her. Well, she's nice once you get to know her. No, she's sure. nice to you, Damien. Just gotta give her a chance. She's, she really also... get, she's getting a lot better. Did she say why she's leaving? She has to report to father about things that happened on the last yeah, floor. Well, of course she does. Yeah. That's not disturbing at all, but she did seem kind of rattled when she... Like after Sol showed up and he got pulled away during the fight. I would Which say she needs to stop breaking promises, but every time she does, it's always a good thing. Always makes me well, At happy, least so. she gave us cool new abilities this time. Uh, uh, abilities that we, don't. Those don't stay. What? You said what? Uh, they're not ours. They were all known. You know? They're Seriously? Gone. Well, I think gone. I I think what he means is we were able to use those abilities because we had Fluxbolt as a conduit. So you're saying we need her with us to use those abilities? Mm -hmm. Well, there might come a time when we can use them. And you let her leave? I, mean, I didn't let her leave. I just want to be on the record. Brock what didn't let her leave. Brock tried to do what he could. And you know, have Sir Frog over here take one for the team. He didn't. How is that on me? She had. She wanted to leave. I. She got to leave. That was on. That's all her decision. All right. Whatever. We know she'll be back at some point. Let's not dwell on it. Okay. Oh, there was one other thing that she stated too, and that was there is a member of a seer here on this floor. What? Really? Ooh. She give you any specifics? She didn't, but she said we shouldn't bump into them. I don't believe her. I don't believe her. And I don't believe her. Frog, what do you make of the matter? Why didn't she you said, ask who it was? She said that it was very likely we, we wouldn't run into them, so. Oh, my gosh. This is what I mean, Leaf says, and she sounds very serious. I, I think I just wish we could cut all connections with them. If that connection is with them, we actually have to understand what that connection is. Since well, we I... have no idea. Here's what I suggest, and I know that you're taking this very seriously, and I know it's bothering you. And you guys might not take me very seriously all the time either, but I'm being sincere when I say we shouldn't worry about it. There's nothing we can do about it, and focusing on it is only going to drive us crazy. What we should focus on is with the tasks right in front of us. That's right. I agree. Let's make this money. Well, not with that part. You're right. Speaking of which, uh, Damien Brack, I'm gonna need to speak with you later on in private. In private? No, no, don't make a big deal of it. Just you know. Oh. Uh, before, okay. Before we move on, Leaf, do you have any personal concerns with us? Since we're the connections to it, I know you don't have a part in this. No, no, of, of, of course not. I, I'm just worried about about all of you. What if I? Uh, what if they? Um, what if they come and take you away? That's not gonna happen. I well, thought I was make stronger, but I I don't think I did, and I don't know if I can climb the tower on my own. I thought I what? could, but. If we talked about this, you know how strong you are, and you're not gonna be on your own. Nobody's gonna leave. We'll be fine. Shion did, and tears well in her eyes. Shion didn't leave because she was taken away. She made a choice, and she's gonna make a choice to return to us when she's ready. Yeah. Okay. And leave. If worse comes to worse, and I don't think this is ever going to happen, and I will 
try my hardest to make sure that this never happens. But should any of us leave or get taken, you know a lot of people that we made friends with that would be happy to have you on their team. Stexa has a group. Siliong, Xion. There's a lot of people that care about you and would look out for you. Not as much and as good as we do, but that's why making good connections in the tower is helpful. I don't want to make this about me. Hey. I'm more worried about you. More. We all look out for each other. I just want to make sure you have the tools in place that should anything happen, it, you can continue climbing. Because you are strong. And don't let this confidence thing get to you. You're good. You're strong. And honestly, like I said, this little sapling has a lot of potential. And you're showing it every time you fight. Whether it's with Wu when he's doing something shady or when we're actually in a battle. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And just initiating this conversation shows a lot of maturity and a lot of strength. Okay? Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. She gives her a little hug. She hugs kind of you back. And Laura says, with that, I honestly think I'm going to head to bed. It's been a long couple of days. And that's totally fair. it's turning <laughs> evening right about now. Yeah. All right. That's, that's fine. But Laura, before you go in the morning, uh, you might get some breakfast with me. Eden just still has an arm around Leaf and gives her a little squeeze just with a like a goofy look on her face. Just kind of looking at Leaf. Yeah, Leaf kind of gives the same face. <laughs> like, huh? Mm-hmm. Breakfast, huh? Sure. Yep. Hey, Brack, you want to come along? <laughs> Brack looks over after he was just doing this head gesture when Wu asked her. <laughs> he then... <laughs> he then looks shocked. He goes, uh... No, but remember what I said. Right. <laughs> if you're sure, she says, and then she gives you a wink, Brack. I accept. And then she holds out to shake your hand. Woo. Uh, so I kind of touched this rabbit thing earlier, and I haven't washed my hands yet, so. <laughs> oh, my God. What do, you, what do you mean, a rabbit thing? Uh... <laughs> I'll explain later. <laughs> I, you know, I don't like. Eden puts her hands on Leaf's ears. I don't want to know if that's the case. I'm gonna. Will. I'm gonna go. Where were you? <laughs> I Rabbit just... thing. Okay, that might have been a bit rude and not entirely true. It was a person. It was a. Uh -huh. it, was a it was a person. Uh -huh. What was she uh, wearing? What was she it wearing? Was he. It, it was a he. Oh. He? Yeah. Oh, the, okay. Well, sure. The, 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 no, uh, no, no, okay. no, right. no, no. Let's get, let's clarify something. He approached me. Oh, He's okay. from the local Bia family. Uh, uh, he wanted what? to play a game. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, they weren't wearing a bunny outfit. Oh. Hmm, uh, what kind no, of... No, he, he has bunny ears. Okay, sorry. Misunderstood. Uh... Yes. Yeah, that's what that was about. No need to go any further into detail. Okay. But what kind I don't of know. game was it? Know. Also, what's been going on here? Game? Got a message saying John was in trouble. He looks perfectly fine to me. Before all that, you just completely sidestepped what the little frog asked you. What kind of game? I'll talk to you guys about it later. As the former <laughs> king of games, though. I say we save this conversation for tomorrow. Agreed. Let's all get some rest. Okay. Uh, Sounds good. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. John, here's the key to the room, by the way. Oh, thanks. All right. See you all in the morning. Get some good rest, everyone. Brad, Damien, no word. Outside. Yeah. Sure. 
All right. Everyone's heading to their rooms, and the three of you kind of huddle up. Where's Race? I need the syndicate. Look over at Breck. Is he serious? You think? This is a I trap, right? Nobody needs the syndicate. Serious. I genuinely well, need. Well, 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 we'll hear him out. If it's if it's true, Little Frog will come running out. You know, so. Two things. One, on the way back to the hotel, I might have jacked the Bartimus potion shop. Um, unintentionally. Got about 45 strange potions that I need appraised and tested, and we might be able to sell them or use them against people. Who knows? But they caught it on camera, and the Bartimus family may or may not be looking for me. So we got to well, be... that uh, is a problem. Yeah, I don't expect you guys to be concerned with uh, them looking for me, but what I do need is for you guys to help me figure out what to do with these potions. What do you mean? I want to help. I, we don't want you getting too much trouble. No, no, no. The other thing is a personal request. That we can make profits on, all right? Oh. The yeah, other thing, so the, the, the bunny man I mentioned, uh, there's this place called Reggie's on the other side of town. I'm sure you've heard of it, Damien. Uh, no, actually, I've never been on that part of town. Well, it's pretty. It's a pretty sizable crowd over there. Nice looking establishment. And from what I've been told, the regular that runs that place basically runs the regulars on this floor. Now, that sounds like a great stronghold to the for the syndicate to me. So, now that I have an in to kind of take over that place, I need you guys to come with me tomorrow night and lock it down. And then we can hop the potions out of there because everyone will be looking for something to give them an you edge. Can move anything out of there. The people there worship whoever runs the place. I see. Mindless zealots. We can use them as foot soldiers. Okay. I see what you're saying. It's not a bad idea. So, Brack, you work on getting this stronghold for us, and I'll work on the potions. All right. I pull, out, I, pull out, I pull out a couple of the potions. I'll give David like five of the potions so we can work with the... Excellent. I won't let you down on this, Wu. Sounds good. You and did Brad... the right thing coming to the Syndicate. I hope so. <laughs> Please don't let my trust be misplaced. Let this fruitful partnership flourish! Brack is just smiling because he gets to bash people's heads in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Simple man, simple pleasures. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say after that, everyone's kind of winding down. You're all Ooh. having your own conversations and everything. But overall, you're all pretty exhausted. I feel like the adrenaline was still there and the new place. But now the exhaustion is starting to hit you. Um, Eden, Can you I walk do yeah. One thing. Yeah. Uh, Victor, you wanted to talk? Uh, yeah, you know. <clears throat> I mean, to be honest, the, our conversation with uh, Jong went over better than I thought it would, so. Forget I said anything. No, 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 no. Oh. Hey, you, you were upset earlier, and I don't see that side of you very <sighs> often, so let's talk about it. Kind of sits forward, you know. I um, I gave up on him a long time yeah. ago. Um, I never expect us to be friends or, or anything, but uh, I guess I I started to see him in a different light today, and I think it took me. I should have seen it a long time ago. I saw him as a threat to the team, <laughs> and. He kind of reaches forward and grabs your hand. I was going to suggest we run off together. Oh my gosh. Are you I'm serious? Seri I'm serious. Really? I'm serious. Victor. Start our own team. Leave these guys <laughs> behind. Your flights of fancy never cease to amaze me. No, but, but, but on a serious note, um, if there is a member of the team that is causing havoc or trouble... Of course, we want to help them, but if they won't listen, um, it's almost like if a ship is sinking, right? We try to fix the ship, but otherwise we jump off. 
and I was starting to think we should have jumped, but maybe we should give him another chance. I'll try to fix things with him. Uh, I do think he could be a danger, though. If he uh, lets his emotions get the better of him like that, like he's constantly done. Well, we all deal with our own traumas differently. And considering what he showed us today, it puts his attitude and his secretiveness and his volatility into a much more clear perspective. So I don't think it's about giving him one more chance or one less chance. I think it's just us understanding each other and trying to move forward the best that we can because you've seen my scars and you haven't asked. So we last all have a lot of... The last thing I want is to bring up unnecessary. The unnecessary past. I know. And you're very sweet to not pry. And, you know, you connecting with Jong over your mutual losses, I didn't know that either. He kind of just sighs, just forget about that. <laughs> okay. Thanks. But at least you seem to be on good terms with your mother. For as long as you knew her. Right? He's silent for a little while. Hey, you don't... Let's just... Nah, it's... Let's just head to bed. Yeah? Forget I asked. He kind of just squeezes your hand as to say it's all right. <laughs> I'm going to say Good after night. that, everyone... Continues to wind down. You get a restful sleep. Wait, Everything. Wait, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta talk to my boy real quick. Ah, you saw. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna say while everyone is winding down. Oh, so I didn't see. Anything. Okay. Uh, do you, are you sending that to him? Uh, no. I just figured that I saw it and I'll bring right. it up over there. Okay, sure. So I'll let you take over here. So, Jong, man, what, what's going on? What happened? <sighs> you remember what I told you? About me? Which part? And Jong goes to unzip his jacket again, showing the oh. scar. Yeah, I couldn't forget that that easily. What happened? The man who gave me the scar showed up today. In the middle of the village. Elias? He's here? Yeah. Or he was. But... You mean he's... he was? Apparently he's... Climbing the tower. And did you ask him? Did you get information? Look. Eden and Victor were there. And the less they know, the better. I mean... I can understand you not wanting to share with Victor, but Eden will help. I think she'd understand. She might. But that's why I want her as far away from this as possible. Hmm. Look, I don't have... I gave you my word, man. And I'm here to help. If he's here, and I know you don't want to deal with it, but... We can't push him out of our sights. We actually got to take advantage of this opportunity. Yeah. I'm going to try and look into him myself, but there's something I wanted to ask you. A favor. Anything. It's about Victor. Okay. Look, I, I, if, if, if you want me to do something, I just spent 20,000 of his points. I don't think... I'm in any place to, uh, you know. <laughs> Just 
Just uh, keep an eye on him for me. I've been watching the kid ever since we left the second floor. I know. But I, uh... You don't want him to know what you're up to at all. I don't trust him, Will. But I'm going to try a different approach. After all, you catch more flies with honey than vinegar, right? Who are you and what did you do with y'all? What? <laughs> God, Ooh, I, will I, you I, stay on topic, please? I just thought you were far too stubborn to try any sort of approach other than the one that you've been spearheading this whole time. Look, everything that happened today, I've been thinking... The only way to catch someone like Victor in a lie is to be someone like Victor. You understand what I'm saying? I like where this is going. Sure. Anything else you need, I got you. But you're absolutely right. I think if we play this right, we can actually see what our friend Victor is really about. And you can get some of the answers that you need. There's, um... <clears throat> There's one more thing. And this absolutely stays between you and I, at least for the time being. Okay. <sighs> Do you remember the Linquist Mansion? How that final fight went down? Yep. Was just about to take the chair out and, you know, sit down for a bit. Maybe do some light reading, have a drink. Well, um, Lord Signe's not as dead as we all thought she is. I spit out the little bit that I was sipping from the gourd. What are you talking about? Keep your voice down. Um, she's alive and... The... No, no, she's... I don't know exactly what it is or what's going on. All I know is that before Elias showed up, I got hit with this vision, I think. I don't I don't know what it was, but it was her. It was her voice. It was her presence. I could feel it. I mean, bro, we've been moving nonstop for three days. You've been through a lot. You might have just been hallucinating. No, no, no. I This wasn't a hallucination. I've had those before. This was very real, and, and I could feel did, it. What did she want? Well, that's the funny thing. She didn't ask for anything. She offered me power. Uh, you lost me, bro. Uh, and you... you didn't say anything, she just vanished? I took the power. You... Okay, so, so, the spirit of Lord Signe appeared before you and bequeathed you abilities that you didn't have prior, and you're just now telling us about it, and you don't want people to know? Listen, I don't want everyone else to know because I know how worried some people will get and the assumptions people will jump to. I'm not really even sure what this is. I need to test this out and I need to verify this before I alert the group and get everybody. Fair you enough. just, you heard how Leaf was you're going. Right. Right? I, I admit it. You want me to tell Lord Signe's ghost is inside me or something? You're, you're, you're right. You're right. That wouldn't go over well. Okay, I got you. Um, Well, yeah, we're going to have to figure out what those powers are and how that came to pass in the first place. But Let's not focus on that now. I think the Elias stuff is more concerning. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. If Luckful hadn't left, we could have asked her about it. She probably would have said something vague and unhelpful again. True, but she says a lot even when she's not saying anything. Yeah, well, personally, the less we have to look at her, the better. Not wrong about that. Oh, right. um, by the way, did you rob somebody today? 
Did I what? How could you possibly know about that? Well, I, did you? I'm not denying it. I'm just saying, how could you possibly know about that? Because you just told me. You're getting closer to this being a little more like Victor thing already. I see you, my boy. <sighs> Uh, yeah, don't worry about the robbery. We got more important things to deal with. Okay. If you say so. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll say, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll end it there then. So, you all then go to sleep after all these little conversations and little moments and with a lot on your mind for a lot of you. Um, and, and Damien, you, you especially, uh, there, there is a sense of, you, you smell the salt you can smell the salt even from where you are, and there is a sense of home here, even if it's not your real exact home. It, it, it feels just so familiar to you, but it's clouded with everything that's on your mind that's on this floor. But you all do eventually go to sleep, but pretty early in the morning, there is a Fierce knock on each of your doors at the exact same time. Um, Bro, we're gonna take our break really quick, so uh, <laughs> don't go anywhere. Why are we getting arrested every Why four of us? We'll be back How in ten minutes. Uh, Damn it! Don't go anywhere. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll definitely see you all very very soon. Enjoy the memes. Enjoy the fan art. We'll see you then. Boom.
and die. So what do we do? Argue with you? Hey man, this look pretty good, man. Where your clothes at? And uh, there we go. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for all the memes and fan art. All of it incredible, as always. If you want to submit your own memes and fan art, you know the drill. The link is down below in the description. We'd love to have you. Even if you don't submit memes and fan art, there's people there who are discussing theories and just various things about the show. So if you're finding yourself liking it, uh, leave a like on this stream and then go join the Discord. We would appreciate the support, as always. But. We're gonna go ahead and jump right back in to make sure we have uh, time. Just goes, uh, a lot's been happening. Okay. So suddenly, I said early, not super early. Uh, the sun is coming up uh, and you hear just pounding on all of your doors, each of you. Uh, above the table, who's in the room with me again? 
I am. Damien. Okay. The All right, cool. Bro. This is perfect then. This is perfect. All right. Oh, so let's back now. All right. So, boom, 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 boom. I wake up. Frog, you know the plan, right? I think I know the plan. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go over here and open up this door. As I go over to the door, I got my harpoon in hand. I open up the door. Who's opening the door? Oh my God, that good door. And then. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Uh, how, how? What's everyone else's reactions? Eating. I'm bed not still, bro. <laughs> uh, Zhong gets up and throws his pillow at Wu to wake him up. Okay. <sighs> They'll just go away if we ignore them. I, I put. Yeah, Rex. how did that work last time? I Actually, stacked... what time is it? I got breakfast plans. It's 7 a.m. I stack, I stack the mattresses in our room, and I'm like, break it up here. We have the high ground. <laughs> no, yeah. that was the plan, right? No. Quick thinking. No. Quick thinking. <laughs> they can't, they can't take us up here. It'd be suicide. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um. What about Jong? Jong, are you opening the door? Um. Yeah. You're opening the door. Eden, you're opening the door? Eden is like half asleep. She's yep. not a morning person. And she like just stumbles to the door and like sure. opens it, hairs all in her face, and wearing the wrong shirt. Perfect. When you open the door, you see each of you an individual who is standing there looking very happy. The individual's wearing an orange and white outfit, a super tall, thin hat on their orange head of hair. They're wearing white shoes with little white wings stemming off the back of it that have been plastered on. And they say, congratulations, regular. And they start I clapping yell, for you. Oh, this is I, I yell over to Breck. I say, Breck, see, I won't hesitate. The frog said he won't hesitate. No, 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 you won't hesitate. No. Me no, you? no, I will hesitate. You you have you have items, right? You said we won, right? Can 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 I what do we Each win? Each of you has become officially an E rank regular. May we see your pockets, please? Oh yeah. The door on him. <laughs> Dad, you, you know what? I just remembered. I got a retcon. I don't have my pocket. I haven't had it this whole episode. I left at the shop. You have your observer, right? Oh, that's what it was. Now I'm tripping. Yeah. Okay, tripping. okay, okay. Look through. I was gonna say, wait, I don't think we can leave. Yeah, yeah, I'm tripping. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, John, you shut the door, and then there's just yeah, we're, somebody's here for you. Uh, is it Laura? Because if not, I'm not interested. It's not Laura. All right, I'm going back to sleep. All right. John sits down on his bed. <laughs> okay. Uh, suddenly, your door opens. Hello, wakey wakey. Are you guys for real? <laughs> I can't escape it. What do you want? Who are you? Could you not take a hint? Go away. You are officially an E-rank regular. May we please see your pockets? No, just no, just keep on talking. I didn't sure. This was a, there was just a process for this. Of course there's a no, process for this. And it's a very important job, thank you very much. It'll mm -hmm. never become obsolete in the future. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, you're right. All right. Um, well, come on in. Our, our business is booming. Okay, we 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 treat regulars. Oh my! I'm so I, no, I, I'm I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect your 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 field. Thank you. Of of course. Let me see your pocket, uh, please. Frog, how do you pull out the pocket again? Um. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> Here, here, like here, emptying here. out his actual pockets. <laughs> here, buddy, you, you just you know you just pull it up the the menu and then you just go into the into the inventory screen or the profile, you know, and then you just you just you just show it to them right there, you know. You can also just say visible mode. Visible mode. Oh, what do you know? It, it popped up right there. How do yeah, I get that, rid of it? That's so much easier <laughs> than what I've been doing. <laughs> You, 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 they, <laughs> okay, um, the person kind of goes over to your pockets, starts connecting with their own pockets. Eden, I'm assuming you're more uh, cooperative or? Yeah, she okay, just pulls okay. them up, just like, just get it over with, I'm tired. Sure, and, and Victor's, Victor's doing the same thing. 
Yeah, you're still, you're he, he groggily sleeping. walks over. All right, yeah. there you go. And they're doing their thing. Wu and Jong, are you? Yeah, just take it. Yeah, hurry up. Congratulations, you are now officially, officially an E rank regular. Great. Everyone, you can now put it on your character sheet if you haven't already. And also, ah! you nice. now can increase your proficiency bonus to plus oh. three instead of plus ah! two. Congratulations, dun, dun, dun. everybody. Dun. Round of applause. Yay. This applies oh, to attack Didn't rolls, this applies to skill checks if you're proficient, uh, saving throws if you're proficient, Damn. and all that stuff. That's so great. You said plus 300. <clears throat> it's plus 3 instead of plus 2 now. Plus, plus 300? Uh, not okay. quite. Not quite there. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. But, uh, and as soon as they're done, they all say at the same time, Thank you, regular! Good luck on your climb! And then they, like, start jogging out of the room. Were we supposed to tip them or something? Like, how do they get paid? I'm not tipping him. Well, I can't make sense. Since I'm a week. Since I'm awake now, investigation start. Hmm? And then just silence. <laughs> As everyone what are probably we investigating? Hit Laura walks oh. into your room, Woo. Hey, you up? I am now. And Be you careful, know, Laura. She's, she's I'm pretty sure he's naked under that blanket. Uh, <laughs> I said, Be careful. There. Pretty sure he's uh, naked under there. Just a fair bit of warning. Yeah, you, you, right, I heard you I'm know. definitely naked under here, yes. Well, she kind of averts her eyes. When you're ready, uh, let me know. Because I got to go. One second. I'll meet you in the hall. Okay. John, I, th I thought it was pretty apparent that I was naked. You'd have to go and say it and make it awkward. I just want to make sure all parties in this facility are on the same exact page. What page is that? You see me naked? They've seen the me, page where me naked. Everyone knows you're naked. That one. Oh, okay. Sure. All right. I gotta get ready. Beautiful. So, Damien, what exactly are you doing? I'm preparing for the investigation I on okay. on these five bottles that Wu gave me. Five bottles. All right. So, the bottles that you have received are three different colors. Hmm. Pretty different, so they're all different. Then, what in the world do we have here? Change. One is pink, one is green, one is blue, one is orange, and one is red and orange. Hmm, like swirling, like red yes, and orange, like swirling. Oh, right that's weird. And they all do different things. I guess I, I wouldn't know. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what kind of effects they would have on, say, Race Velger. Is the, there there are there any instructions on the bottles or anything? Nope. Oh, I get I give, I've been given nothing then. Okay. Need a guinea pig, bro. Hmm. Well, I think I'm gonna go. And take a trip to the Emporium. Okay. So, Damien, you start walking down the steps, and you're heading for the door, and then suddenly you hear a voice from behind you. Excuse me. Oh, hello. What's going on? You see someone dressed in the Yan uh, uniform. Oh, damn. You wouldn't happen to be um, Mr. Frog, would you? Um, I get mistaken for this person a lot, but uh, no, my name is actually Eric. Eric uh, Sebastian Froch. We have been asked to bring you to the Yan district. Uh, if you would please follow me. Is there a problem? No. No problem at all. Would it be okay please. if I made a phone call? Please. <laughs> I love it. Delightful. Thank you for your service. You're just kind of waiting there. Brack, Brack, it's me. Brack, answer the phone. Brack. <clears throat> this is no. uh, your your daily Airbnb brought to you by the Syndicate. <laughs> Double B speaking. How may I help you? It's me, 
it's me. This is me. This is uh, Eric oh. Frog Froge. Um, hey, so um, what up, Biff? How's it going? Yeah, yeah, uh, things are uh, going okay. It's early in the morning, and I am being summoned to the North District. So, um, uh, why are they summoning you? I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. I'm sure everything will be all right. But if it's not, that's where I am. You got to help me, man. If you want, I need help. Do you want me to run over there and come with you? Or do you want to handle this one on your own? I will see what I can do. But if I'm not home by the end of the day, tell everybody. All right. We'll send the grunts. Yes. Yes. The most important thing is that we have a base of operation. Do not let the do not let the plan die. All right. All right. We need to have every kind of advantage. So just finish the job. Got you. Worst case scenario. Send in the little frog. He still has that knife, right? No, I have it. Never mind. You're on your own. But <clears throat> I'll go get the base. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Brack. And Godspeed. Take care, Riff. All right. I just contacted my lawyer. We can go. <laughs> <laughs> right. I should be asking, am I being arrested? You are not under arrest. There is someone who wishes to speak with you. Oh, well. All right. Please I have me. my right to an I have my right to an attorney though, and if anything happens though. This is just so you know. Please just follow me. I'm under orders. Follow me. And he starts walking out of the hotel. Alright, and I follow. Okay. At this point, uh Woo, have you uh gotten all yep. ready? What's going on with you? Ready to go, ready to go. Meet Laura okay. in the hallway. Sure, sure. Now, uh, Laura's just wearing what she's always wearing, and uh, she says, well, I'm ready to go. After this, I'll probably uh, leave. So, um, and she kind of turns. Everyone, thank you so much for everything. Uh, it was a great time. And, uh, oh, uh, and uh, I hope we can meet again in the future. Are we all there? Yeah, she's kind of in yeah. the hallway, in the middle okay. of all the rooms. Well, yeah. Mom just was... stares at her for a second before going, bye. And then closes the door and goes back to his room. <laughs> okay. Bye to you too, John. Well, thanks for your assistance in the linguist thing. Uh, hunt, rig test, whatever you want to call it. I'm you not going to very... It was a fun hunt. <laughs> Well, we appreciate your assistance and sure. looking out for Brack and Leaf and everybody. It's much appreciated. Yeah. And you know, uh, hopefully this business with what you, whatever you call them, ice here, hopefully that goes over well too. Just be careful mentioning that because that can really get under some people's feathers just for your own safety, okay? She smiles. Sure. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. My, my bad. Bye, Laura. No, you're good, you're good. Have fun with Woo! I will see! Mm -hmm. And she says, Hey, Breck. Take care, alright? You got it, little beast. Aww. You stay ferocious. Right on. She kind of gives you finger guns and then... Walks out. Walks out. <laughs> <laughs> Brack does it back. <laughs> okay, and uh, she kind of meets up with you outside the hotel. So, where are we going? Ah, uh, wherever you want. But I gotta make a quick stop first. Sure. You should actually come along. Might be able to get something useful for yourself too. Okay. Um, I got a couple hours. Alright, let's go over to this this shop so I can get my observer back, please. I miss it very much. You're heading to you left it at Barnabas's? 
No, uh, what's it called? By Reggie's. Oh, duh. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Observe and reflect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. Now, you do recall that the person did tell you that night it would be ready. Did they? That they said. Yeah, I rewatched re that part because I wanted to make sure. And she said oh, that, okay. that night, that evening, she would have it ready. So, Whatever. you can still go well, and check in. Yeah, Laura can look around and see if she wants to get anything. Sure, sure, sure. You, you end up arriving there, and Laura's like, Whoa, this place is awesome. And she ends up looking at a bunch of the different observers. Kind of yeah. looking at them. I've been using the same one since the second floor. Wow. Kind of like it, though. But yeah. figured I would check out what they got here. And uh, June enters from a back room, and you notice she's kind of uh, wearing, like, a big outfit as if she's been, like, um, just, like, a big baggy outfit as if she was doing some physical labor. Um, and she's wearing, like, a, one of those steel mask thingies, you know, and she lifts it up. Oh, hey! Folding shield. Thank you, Hannah. I knew I could count on you. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, hello. Welcome back. Hey, I know I'm early. I know I'm early. Just wanted to check in. My friend here, you know, also a scout. Wondering if uh, oh, you have anything to show her. Sure, we have all kinds of things. And she starts to, you know, show her the different things that she showed you. Um, and as far as your observer goes, I'm working on it. Should be ready in a couple hours. Sounds good. Take your time. It's turning out pretty well. I hope so. And uh, she continues showing Laura around. Laura decides not to get anything, but she thanks the shopkeeper for her time. And you leave. Alright. Nice so where do you want to go eat? What's the most expensive place? And she kind of nudges you. I'm joking. I'm joking. You know, I see what you did there, but that's fair. I don't really care. Where do you want to go? Oh, no, really. I'm fine with... Honestly, that place that Brack and I went to, pretty good. What's it called? I believe it was called the Lone Squid. Ah, oh, the bar. I passed by it when we got here. Eh, time is it? I can get a drink now. Let's go. <laughs> All right. And you start to head there. Uh, Jong and Eden and Brack, what are you up to at this time? Uh, Eden would still be waking up, but has a plan. So I don't know if anybody else wants to do anything first. Okay. Jong, are you still sleeping? Um, Jong is, no, he's sitting in his room and he is staring at his pocket. Um, and on the pocket is Xion's name. He's contemplating if he should call her. Yes, yes, you shall. Do it. Yes, you Do shall. it. I will above the table this. <laughs> Better call her, bro. No, I shouldn't. She's probably busy. <laughs> John. I'll bust down that door. What does door. Isaiah want to do, though? <laughs> <laughs> Broken out of character just like that. He wants to run in there and smack you on it. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen to the ghosts around you, John. <laughs> we know your best interests. Search your feelings. <laughs> Maybe I'll send her a message. Yeah, like, hey, no, that's okay. How you been? No, how about how's training? Oh, God, <laughs> so I hate this thing. Jong is having his own dilemma. Brack, what are you doing? Before I go above the table, I'm not gonna lie, that was touching. Um, Aww. Back. Um, Brack is going to go scope out the regular place. He's not gonna start the okay. mission just yet. Okay. Just gonna go check it out. Recon, right. Recon. Sure, sure, reconnaissance. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay, sure. You're starting to make your way over to Reggie's. Um. And along the way, uh, roll perception for me. Damn. How are you doing, Dice? <laughs> I ain't seen you in, the, in a minute. Nice, right? You gonna be nice to me? <laughs> be good. Of course you're not gonna be nice to me. You <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my God. That's oh, a five. No. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. You're walking down the street. You know, everything's great. You're just so focused on your mission. Uh, and then once you get to the Western District, they say, uh, excuse me, regular identification, please. Um, why do you need it? <laughs> Only regulars are allowed past this point. But what did that guy say? How do I? Where, where, did, where, where is my identification, sir? Your pocket. Please, okay. we don't have all day. H how do you make the pocket show up again? <laughs> the two guards just kind of look at each other. <laughs> Come on uh, now, don't don't be that way, young man. How where, how do you make it show up? Well, normally you say visible mode. <laughs> That's right, visible mode. Shroop. There you go. As you can see, my credentials are right there, as well as the all amount right. of pills that I've had. I'm sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> I said my head count. You know, I'm a, I'm an excellent player of Tower of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! None of us just, are ready for that. It's just on Tower your profile. <laughs> His gamer oh. card. <laughs> Rack Bronson, description. Best Tower of Duty player. Professional eSports. Well, looks good. Move along. Thank you, fine gentlemen. Um, before I go, how do you make this go away again? Just, just, invisible, just whisper. Invisible mode. Ah, yeah. Invisible mode. Goodbye. <laughs> um, and I walk in to Reggie's. All right, you walk, walk into towards Reggie's. Sure, sure, sure. You walk towards there. It's pretty, it's not very busy right now. And you walk inside. Can you go ahead and uh, show this here? Okay. The place is pretty quiet at this point. You only see a couple of regulars playing pool. Oh. Brock comes in. He takes a whiff. <sighs> yeah, chumps are here. <laughs> <sighs> How are we going to... Uh... Hey, Hello. you two over there. In the back of the room, you see a bunny oh, man. No. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Taki. Love will be a Taki. Brack looks at his ears. He looks him up and down. I think you were the one we were talking about. You know my brother? You know bro. No. You're no, more I don't. than welcome here. No, I don't. Come on in. Come on in. Leave me alone. Goodbye. <laughs> He tries to kind of lead you by the shoulder. Come on, come on. It's, it's a lot of fun here. We can play games. If you want, we could even have some competitions. What kind of competition? Well, I don't fight people for my family or women, of course. But you're neither of those things. Otherwise, let me know. And we can fight. We can throw down. Are you the leader of this establishment? And by beating you, I gain rights over this domain? Well, let's just say the previous leader was dismantled last night. No problem. So yeah, pretty much. Will you be here later on this evening? Yeah, this is my place now. Of course I'll be here. Brock looks him up and down again. Can he do like an insight check? <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> to to, to kind of gauge how strong he is. Okay, okay. Damn, somebody do love me. Like, what? 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 Okay. okay. You know what? I don't even. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. Uh, um, <laughs> It's, uh, God dang it. Low, low thingy. Uh, 16. Okay. So you're kind of looking up and down. Uh, He's pretty built. Uh, You could tell he likes to show off his muscles and he is showing off some good muscle, Uh, particularly in his legs. You're getting the impression that he's a, uh, a kick fighter. Um, and he, he's got that low pobia blood from his name. You're gathering that, um, not the strongest person you've seen, but definitely, uh, great family strength is there. He'd be a challenge. Jackrabbit. Yeah. May I be able to assume that, um, you like to use your legs when you fight? Very insightful. Wow. You're awesome. I'm already a fan. Don't try to flatter me. Um, I will be back promptly around 8 p.m. You be ready for that fight, you know? Me and you, one-on-one -on -one with me. 
Big boy Brack. I'll see Still you later, good. all right? Hey, all sounds right? good. Yeah, we'll see you and, then. Uh, make sure you get me some better subordinates in here before I come back, because if they're not, I'm going to beat you even worse than what I was planning on beating. <laughs> Take care, though. I know what that <laughs> Enjoy means. Enjoy your time. I know what and that means. those legs, too. I, and then I'll leave out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you shut the door and you, his voice gets thrown down. <laughs> Uh, okay. Sounds good. So at this point, Eden, uh, are you still getting ready? Yes, she is, she's awake okay. now. She's dressed and ready to go, but it's also looking and realizing that her clothes were still kind of, you know, bloodstained and stuff from the uh, Lindquist little hunt because we didn't really have a chance to clean up. And she's like, sure. I was walking around like this all day yesterday. Why didn't yeah. anyone stop me? This is odd. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and so she, she takes off her coat because that's where most of the... Okay. The, the junk is. Uh, Victor, are you up? Are you still? I'm up. Sleeping? I'm up. Okay. Um. So. Mm-hmm. Do you want to potentially just go on a date today? No tower. No worries. No babysitting. Zhong. No nothing. Just you and me. That sounds wonderful. Yeah. All right. As long as, for once, no one interrupts. That's my only worry, but let's do it. Okay. Maybe my only. Maybe you want to go to the aquarium? I know, I know, I know. You're not a fish person. I get it. It's fine. We can, cha- That's a... we can change that. We can fix that. The aquariums are cool. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's where I was going to suggest because I remember you telling me that you oh. like fish. So I realized that I kind of made a boo-boo and I was going to make it up today. You are so sweet, Eden. <laughs> wow. Sure. I'm touched. But, no, oh, stop it. I am going to go run and get some less bloody clothing real quick. So sure. if you just sit tight, I'll be back. Sounds good, and thank you, honestly. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, we both had a day yesterday, and a day before that, and and a day before that. So you know, it's yeah. it's, it's we deserve it's some been time. A, We do, and I want to take care of you. So I'll be back. You get ready, and I'll see you in like thirty minutes. Sounds good. All right. I'll be counting the minutes. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, at this point, we're going to cut to Damien. So, Damien, you are being led down the road. You're Well, you're mostly following this person as he's sort of guiding you down the Fremont district. Go ahead and roll perception for me. Uh, hang on. Uh, mm-hmm. Perception. That is a 13. 13? Okay. Um, while you're walking down the road, um, someone kind of catches your eye. Uh, you just notice an old lady that uh, seems to be having a problem with one of the shopkeepers nearby. And it catches your eye because it's someone who you think you may have seen a couple of times before in your own home district. Um, just kind of catches your eye as you're walking by. Um, hey, that that old lady needs help. Hmm? You don't have Look time. at her. She's Let's move along. Struggling. So you see her just like pleading with the shopkeeper, and the shopkeeper's just shaking their head. I walk over and I say, "Hey, what's the problem?" Oh, I I simply don't have enough points to buy fish. They say they raved, they've raised the price. And the guy says, there's not enough fish these days because of what's happening on the mainland. It's not my problem. The mainland? What's going on on the mainland? Psh, I wish I knew. Explosions, they say. Some claim it's the Yan family. Who knows? But, and then he says, he looks over at the guard who's walking over. <clears throat> no one knows what's going on. But it's not my problem, ma'am. Please, I, I simply wanted to cook a meal for my daughter, and I, I, I don't have enough points to, to cover it. Um, you can ah. put it on my tab, please. I have, I have something for you instead. And I go into my, my frog inventory, 
And remember how I got a bunch of meat from the Linquist family in the kitchen? Oh no. True, <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> I have here a nice meaty steak for you, ma'am. A, a, a steak? I couldn't possibly accept, accept this. Oh, please, it is at the behest of the syndicate. Con no. Then upcharger. Conning old women again, no? <laughs> I've never heard of this organization. Thank you very much. I, how can I repay you? Ah, uh, just remember that it was the syndicate that helped you. Oh, Thank you. No. Spread the word. <laughs> the benevolence of the syndicate has no bounds. She's kind of looking now up I... at you. I, are you? She kind of is looking at you. Never mind. I appreciate your services, boy. Thank you ever so much. I will cook a wonderful steak for my daughter. <sighs> Of course, now, and I'm, I must make my way. She kind of turns with her walking stick back to the Hume district. Such a long walk. And she starts to kind of look down towards the uh, Vermont district. I hope uh, you know I... again. Oh, I'll be on the floor for a while. Thank Wish you. I actually stocked up on froggy like wheelchairs and stuff, but I guess I don't have those. Oh, you will. Young, young man. She comes uh, to yes. you again. You wouldn't happen to know um, a a Kine, would you? Someone named Kine? Kine. I really must be going. My, my it was a pleasure to meet you. My mistake. Thank you very much. And what she, was uh, your name again? Hmm? Oh, you can just call me Willow. Willow. A pleasure to meet you, Willow. You as well. Thank you, boy. And she starts to very, very slowly start walking down the down the district. So Frog, are you done? I am. Thanks a lot for letting me do that. Let's get moving. He ends up taking you through the Pascal district. Um, it's starting to get busier at this time of day. And uh, at this point, you're heading towards the Yan district. He's taking you through this district. And this is where the people almost become non-existent. You see a couple of guards. You pass by them. Let me listen to um, That's the wrong one. There it is. You pass by a couple of guards. And uh, they just sort of nod to the one that's passing by with you. And he is leading you through a very beautiful section of the Pascal, where you see beautiful trees and scenery that aren't present in many of the other areas that are growing in beautiful gardens um, to your right and to your left. And slowly as you approach, you're starting to see these huge buildings ahead of you. Five circular buildings that you recognize. And uh, it takes you a few minutes but he eventually takes you to the front of one of these buildings, done in an ornate, beautiful design, primary color being pink, as flowers and, and beautiful gems are sort of etched into the building itself. And you just see guards patrolling the area, all wearing the same uniform. And uh, the guard walks up and salutes, and then he starts whispering to the guards who are guarding the front door. And they sort of nod and open the very big double doors to this primary first building that takes you to all the other buildings. Another guard motions you in. Well, this place certainly hasn't changed. We try to keep our keep up the upkeep as best we can. He takes you down, so when you enter, you start walking down the middle hallway and Normally, you would continue walking um, just straight ahead for a long time, but instead he takes you to the left as soon as you, uh, there's a crossroads um, in the hallways, Whatever, you know, there's uh, four paths, he takes you to the left. And you're walking down a little ways and eventually he stops and there's a door on his right, um, a wooden door, it's very beautiful wood, and he knocks. And you hear a voice inside say, come in. And he opens the door and he motions as if he's not going to follow you inside. I go inside. 
Perfect. Okay. And the door, the guard shuts the door behind you. Now in front of you, there are two desks and the room is great, beautiful um, statues that are placed on this beautiful wooden shelf and there's like a little uh, spring that is in the corner of the room and the water is running and you see the symbol of the on family the per, you know the the uh, the gemstone etched onto the flowing fountain and the window is open behind these two desks and there are two individuals seated behind these two desks and you do recognize them you have seen them briefly before um it takes you a second to to remember who they are um Sometimes when you would visit, not visit, but when the times that you had seen Millet in the past, you would see these two there sometimes in the background, sort of more or less not in the primary focus, but with Milla. Um, and at this, you never learned their names. They were just there. And uh, you see them here as well. We actually do have art. I'm going to show it on screen here. You see oh. this man oh. and this woman. Ah. Twinsies! Well, <laughs> time has done wonders for you. You guys haven't changed at all. And you notice uh, one of them wearing, they're very similar looking, but one of the distinguishing factors is one of them wears blue nail polish, the other red. And uh, the one with the red nail polish, she kind of just chuckles. And then the man says, I'll introduce us, I am Jan Vaughn, and he looks over, and my sister, I am Jan Vaughn. Please take Jan a Vaughn, seat. Jan Vaughn. Of course. And there's two chairs, one in front of each of them. Oh. Um, I sit in front of Jan Vaughn. He kind of looks over at his sister and rolls his eyes. I'll let my sister do the talking. Awesome. You notice she is much more casual. Her feet are up on the desk at this point now, but uh, Vaughn is sitting very, like, back straight and just staring at you. Well, I'm sure you're a little bit surprised about this. Are you surprised? Oh. Well, a little bit. You two are not exactly who I was going to. I thought was going. I was going to see, but always you a pleasure are... to see familiar faces. She just smiles like the fakest smile you've ever seen, and then it immediately disappears. You know, you're making a bit of a name for yourself. Is that right? What do you go by? Well, today I'm Eric. Right. Eric, I'm going to cut straight to the point. I don't like wasting time. We have a job for you. Well, that's not at all what I was expecting. We know. Tell me more. We want to take you to the mainland. The mainland. She looks over at Vaughn. There's been a problem on the mainland. Apparently, he kind of looks over at his sister. Frogs. Oh. You deal with frogs, yes? Well, I've been known to, yes. Good. Apparently, something is happening, and these frogs are ruining the ecosystem. Monstrous frogs of all various sizes. We need your help in mm -hmm. figuring out what is going on. We well, would like you to accompany us, the three of us, alone. Alone? Yeah, that is sort of the idea, but... Whatever. And how do I know I'm not just going to, say, disappear when I finish the job? <laughs> We're acquaintances, aren't we? Why would we do that? 
No, you see, you seem to be misunderstanding something. Um, there isn't much of a choice in the matter. Is that right? We would love it if you came along willingly. However, we received word that some of your teammates are causing problems on this floor. It would be a shame if that was reported. Now that has nothing to do with us. No, and I don't want it to be something that is dealt with us. That's why I'm saying you should come along. What my sister is trying to say, she's wording this horribly. You do have a choice in the matter. However, we do have things that would cause problems for you if you said no. Uh, I like you. That's a very good way to put it. I do have a choice. And this job, though, it, it needs my immediate attention. Is there a reward? There is. Can I choose the reward? No. And then, she, and then when he says no, she says, well, what did you have in mind? Information. Ah, here we go. Little froggy asking for it. And he says, sis, shush, please. Let me handle this. And she just kind of chuckles. What kind of information? Information of the confidential sort. But I think you'll agree that I should be privy to said information. About Dominic Frog. You know you cannot learn more about that. That is top secret information. And we've asked you many a time to no longer ask oh. about that. <laughs> I am fully aware. And, of course, I suffered the consequences. You think we would know anything about your stupid dad? No. I know you two don't know. But I know who does. They look over at each other. It would be so much easier if we could cooperate. Wouldn't you agree? I have no ill will towards your family. Listen, our cousin is busy. Why do you think we're here? We're here to leave as little burden on her shoulders as possible. She trusts us. However, I know for a fact what she would say if you were to get another audience with her. So, the answer is no. Then, I have a different request. My request would be to speak with Jan Milla. Under the supervision of the family, of course. It wouldn't be so bad if I could just speak with her after the job is done. Would it not? They look at each other. Fine. And Fawn says, Really? But then she just has a smile on her face. Yes. Fine. <laughs> you have my word. Delightful. So good to be cooperating with the Yon family. We are partners for now, but please do not do anything that would betray our trust. Of course, of course. When a deal's leave. a deal. We can leave right away. But I just have to make a phone call. And she and Fawn says, yeah, that, see, that's sort of the issue here. This is a uh, top secret mission, and uh, we wouldn't prefer that. Well, I don't have to speak about mission details, but my team will go looking for me if I'm gone for too long. We'll send someone to let them know what's oh, happening. I'm, I'm sure they would prefer to hear it from me. I don't care what they prefer. You are coming with us and we will let them know. I'm right. telling you now, this is only going to cause more problems for you than me. <laughs> <sighs> the
There's rumors that a missing person was spotted on the mainland. We're wondering that... if they're the root cause of whatever is happening to the forest, causing all these frogs to swarm the coast. It's a problem very specific to the Yan family. We haven't even been given that much info, and so I would prefer we keep this hush-hush. Of course. And I will cooperate to the best of my ability. That includes sticking with us. Just the three of us. No communication until the job is done, right? Well, let me just send a letter then. Let me write a quick message for them. I don't think you seem to... And then Vaughn says, Look. A condition for this agreement is that you do not communicate with anyone else. Do you not understand that? Of course I understand, but you're just gonna cause yourself another problem if you don't let me do this. Roll persuasion. Roll persuasion twice, actually. One for Vaughn and one for Fawn. Oh boy. Big box, ooh. Whoops, that's, that's performance, that doesn't count. Or okay. I guess, I guess you could actually minus uh, oh minus two from that, so it can be fifteen. Oh, or do, would you prefer, would you prefer if I reroll though? No, 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 that's all good. That that works. Okay. Um, so 19, it's 15. 15. Okay. So Vaughn, while she's kind of leaned up, she kind of motions over for Vaughn, and he stiffly gets up and walks over, and they start whispering. And then finally, Vaughn says, "As long as we are in the presence of this call, is that a problem?" Not at all. Make your call. Now. One call. That's it. Well, I can only... I can think of one person. The number one person I would call for this information. Call my best buddy, Brack. Alright. Brack, you leave the, the establishment Reggie's and you start receiving a call from Damien. <laughs> hey there, bud. Hey, how's it going? Well, hey, are you good? Oh, go is everything ahead. going okay? Yeah, things are going fine. Um, so I got hired to do a job from the Eon family. Can you believe that? But it's uh, it's on the hush hush. So I'm cooperating with them. They haven't kidnapped me, but there is a bit of a frog dilemma. So I'm gonna take race failure back and. We are going to go investigate this. And I just want you to know that I don't want you to worry. I should be back probably within the next few days. And that so, I'm, I'm here with my uh, my associates. Uh, and then they, they, uh, Vaughn is telling you, do not mention our names, please. Uh, they're, they're friends. Said the Yon family. Do you mean the 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 one that was there at the Lindquist mansion? Uh yeah, that's the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, I'm going to investigate investigate a uh, a frog problem, and I seem to be an expert in that field, so I should be back soon. I don't want you to worry about it. And uh, yeah, you take care. Got you. Worry, you'll be back in a couple of days. Let everybody else know. Brock's on the exactly. case. And uh, yeah, I guess have fun while I'm gone. I'll uh, try and bring you back something. Uh, take all this over where we're going to hawk it on the auction. It's John Ware. It, it'll yeah, go yeah, for yeah. it. It'll go for it, man. Sounds good. And yeah. uh, tell Wu I'm sorry about the potions. I still have them on me. I wasn't able to figure anything out. But as soon as I get back, I'll figure it out. Slip right? once. Frog, frog. Slip one to one of the yarn. Make them drink it. They have they have a strong body. They're, they're, they're great, I guess. But just make them drink one, and then we can get the effects off of it. I'm a little confused. Do they, do they, do they, uh, they look thirsty? Are you guys thirsty? Can you please end the call? Oh, yeah. Sorry. You know, it's it's important. Tell them it's bull aid. It's Tell them it's bull aid. Do you guys hear that? It's bull aid. <laughs> Vaughn just looks disgusted. 
Uh, I don't think they're going for it. Uh, typical. It's okay, though, you know. Probably, you know, after we can kind of deal with that. All right, I gotta go. Tell everyone I said hi, especially my best buddy, Jong. And I hope Eden's doing good, too, and Wu as well. All right. And Laura and Leaf and 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 uh, uh, Victor, 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 yeah, Victor. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Uh, thanks for doing this for me, and uh, see you soon. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> As you're ending the call, they get up from their desks and start walking towards you. Oh. And they're kind of backing you into the corner a little bit. Oh, this is a little weird. That was way, way, way too much. Okay? You understand this is top secret, right? It is top secret. But I have to let them know that I'm going to be okay. And I, that's the best way to do it. You guys did great, by the way. You really convinced him that I was I was safe. Good job. And then uh, Fawn says, that wasn't convincing. It's the truth. Well, yeah, of course. You're safe it's always us. Okay. best to tell the truth. Eric. Of course. Yes, quote unquote Eric, even though you kind of already know who I am. If you say quote unquote, it makes it obvious that that's not your name. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'll quote unquote shut up then. Oh, that... oh man. <laughs> this is going to be great. I can already tell. I have a good feeling about this. Just the three of us, correct? No one else? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Absolutely. Yeah, I already told him. Oh, and Horace Felger, but he's like my, he's my friend, though. like my, 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 my frog, like. Who is that? I'll, like, he's an expert on this, you know? Is Horace Felger what? out currently? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I can just unsummon, resummon him. No, I was, I was asking you, like, meta, like, is he, uh. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess he, he like, <laughs> I guess he's kind of with Brack, because I was like, here, <laughs> you can have the top board, Brack. <laughs> Okay, I was. I, I think, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say too, you got probably oh, really far away from him and he ended up just kind of following you. Um, oh, okay. So. Alright, that's fair. Yeah. Mm. Right, you're an anima. That'll make you very helpful for this operation. We'll leave in an hour. Let's go. Alright, uh, can I have someone fix my lighthouse? I mean, I could do it myself, but like, you know, it's. I don't think we have time for that. My combat you capabilities get you a would replacement. Be ah, even better, even better. I like the idea better. That's smart, Fawn. That's very smart. Thank you. Let's go. And then they end up uh, leading you through the district towards where you can get a new lighthouse. And uh, yeah, at this point, we'll cut to Wu. And Laura. At this point, the two of you have made it to the Lone Squid. Um, I think I'm going to call something like that. Uh, let me put you in the Ptolemy District, the Lone Squid. And uh, yeah, the place is getting bustling, even though it's still early in the morning. But you managed to walk in, and you see the same thing yesterday. It's not the cleanest place, right? It's kind of rowdy and all over the place, but there's a certain charm to it as well. Yeah, definitely more my kind of place than where we were at yesterday. <laughs> right, I figured you'd like it. Nice. So, uh, what'd you drink yesterday? I had something called Ptolemy's Milk. <clears throat> run, run that by me again? Ptolemy's Milk. You gotta try it at least once. It's pretty delicious. What kind of beverage is that? Whose milk did you drink? I think it's just a name. I don't know for sure. Did they tell you the ingredients? Uh, no, of course they didn't. You know, they got to keep their secrets and all that. And, uh, Yo, bartender! Okay. Over here, over here. Clean in his glass. What's with this milk drink? 
That's her specialty. Do you make it yourself? You don't know what Ptolemy is? Uh, no. <laughs> Visit the aquarium sometime. And Laura oh. just kind of... Okay. I, I, on second thought, I think I'll have something else. Um, what, what do you, Can we have a menu, please? A menu? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. I think it's real I milk. Mean, I think it might be real milk. <laughs> you sent it once before. I figured it was... Yeah, remember <laughs> It was good. It was good, but now I can't get that out of my head. So uh, maybe we, should, yeah, we'll, we'll just not ask anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sounds good. Okay. Fair enough. Um, um they, ha they have a, a wide selection. You know, uh, well, it's not wide. They have a small selection of different beers, and uh, they don't have any wines or anything. It's all a bunch of just a beer, vodka, that kind of thing. Look at this. So let me get. Let me get a couple beers. Beer. Right. Since we were in Artlum. Yeah. They end up getting you a couple beers. Kind of grainy, right? But, uh, but, uh, smells good. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, don't judge me. I know it's early, but this is kind of what I do. Plus, I'm not hungry. I ate more food yesterday than I did in the last two weeks. Kind of yeah. wild, but. We eh. feast, didn't we? I feel kind of bad for the Coon, for Coon Victor. Don't feel bad for him. He's been flexing his money around for years now. It's only right that he buys us a proper meal. That's fair. That's fair. Just be but glad that you got about... to partake. Right. That's true. I was honored, but uh, I think his wallet was a little hurt by that. Maybe a little bit damaged. He'll then again, let me guess. Daddy. He's the okay. uh, rich boy in the group based on what I was hearing. What, is he mm -hmm. sponsored by his family or something? Themes that way. But you know what's crazy? Now that you mentioned you've heard a lot about us indirectly. <laughs> Must be weird. Yeah. But you haven't really shared much about yourself. Now that I'm not crying or anything. Brad keeps making these strange comments that I am kind of curious about. But, you know, it's just been nice having you around. Glad we ran into each other again. And I can yeah. honestly say, without you, we probably would have ran into some trouble during that test. Or oh, more no, than no, that. No. To be honest wasn't a big deal um i was an orphan i uh, just really wanted to experience the world and uh so i became a regular after training with uh with this weapon uh she kind of pulls up her inventory briefly and uh yeah my eyes start to sparkle when i see the weapon i kind of like oh. reach out for it. you haven't seen this my trusty no. cross, and she takes it out, and uh, it's pretty awesome. Silver, ornate, and she hands it to you. This is absolutely glorious. <laughs> Thank you. Who taught you how to use this? I trained myself. So, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that you basically came from nothing, decided that you wanted to do whatever you could, climb the tower by yourself, and herself taught? Is that a bad thing? No, I just don't believe it, but I know you're not lying, so that's kind of crazy. I respect <laughs> it. Yeah, well, to be honest, there were some good tower tube tutorials that I looked up at a couple times, but, you know, overall, self-taught. Hey, you watch tower tube, you should subscribe to our channel. Just say it'd be a nice way to keep track of us. Send it to me, I'd love to. Sure, sure. I well, give me your number, and I'll be happy to. Sure. Uh, can I have your number? Well, of course. All right. You exchange numbers. Awesome. You know, I feel like that last test, it was kind of a whim for me to take it with you all, but I feel like I've genuinely made a lot of friends. I think the team feels the same way about you for the most part. Uh, and for those that don't, don't take it personally. That's just kind of how they are. Sure, sure. I understand. But what about you? Who are you, Wu? I mean, pretty much the dude you've seen kind of goofing around this whole time is who I am. But I gotta say, I feel like we got a lot in common. I also, yeah. well, no. Nah can't call myself an orphan, but I was adopted. And my new family was way better than my old family. As a matter of fact, if it weren't for them, I don't think I'd 
even understand what living really is. But now, that's all I care about. Living the way I want to. And right now, that, you know, pretty much concerns climbing the tower. Right. I do it my way, how I want to, at my pace. And that's pretty much it. I'm the exact same way. I feel like even though this team is so nice, it, it just feels like... I need to see these these sights and experience these things on my own. Like yep. I'm free. I understand. That's why I can't protest you leaving. I get the feeling. I can't leave them though. There's something about all of them. I don't know. Like I said, I only have one family, but they're kind of starting to grow on me. And there's Leaf. So. Aww. Yeah. What did you mean? Uh, second floor. Mm. It's not the kind of encounter I was expecting. But something tells me it was for a reason. And now that I look back at it, she's pretty much exactly what I need in my life right now. And I'd be lost without her. Wow. Sounds like you're pretty close. I'm jealous. I mean, you know, she's like a little sister to me. Yeah. No, that's Can I honestly say I love her? You know, there were times when I wished I could have had someone like that. But I think at the same time, if I didn't grow up the way I did, I wouldn't be who I am. And, you know, and, and there are times, too, when I feel as if the person that I am, is it really... Is it really who I was meant to be, you know? And she kind of... Messes with her necklace a little bit, just kind of lost in thought. Hmm. Well, the person that you are now isn't the person that you're always going to be. People are constantly changing and growing. Plus, when you say meant to be, kind of takes me down this destiny track that I've been spoon-fed and indoctrinated into, and I don't like it very much. I think who you're meant to be is who you decide to be. And it's never going to be fixed. What if there were people who were to tell you how to be? Could you relate to that? Those are the types of people I hate the most. I couldn't agree more. Kind of raises her mug. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, we're going to cut away briefly. I got, one, I got one list. Sure, one sure, list. sure. I was going to cut back, but yeah, yeah. We can yeah, we can, no, we can just end it here. I don't know. Oh, sure, sure. We can say some oh, yeah. things going on, conversations, and yeah, go ahead. I'm just going to say as we're, as we're leaving. Okay. Uh, look, I'm not very good at this, but Leaf has been telling me for a while to be more straightforward. So I hope you're safe and you find whatever it is you're looking for while you're climbing. But the next time we run into each other, and I say the next time because it's definitely going to happen, mm -hmm. be awesome if you let me take you on an actual date. This wasn't an actual date? Nah, this is the date before the date. Ah, I see. And she kind of leans up and kisses you on the cheek. Sure. I drop my gourd. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, uh, sure, yeah, okay. Uh, that sounds yeah. great. Sure. All right. See you then. All right, see you. All right. And she smiles as she uh, starts to walk away. And uh, you're smiling. I mean, whatever, 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 as she's leaving. And then you kind of feel this weird presence afterwards, like a slight chill, uh, as if someone nearby is watching you. But then the feeling kind of disappears. But you like notice it's a chill? little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the presence is no longer there afterward. Okay. Your monkeys are very excited for you. You can just tell yeah. that they're. <laughs> yeah, I told you three to shut up. Uh, okay, we're going to cut to Eden. Okay. So she is bolting out to the, the big shopping district, which I think was Vermont, if I remember correctly. Uh, or was it, pa oh, it was Pascal's Pascal, yeah, Pascal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pascal. Pascal. So she's trotting over there to sure. find some nicer, less bloody clothing. 
Sure, yeah, I'm gonna say you end up finding a shop. It's it's not in the main circle, but you kind of go down a little street, and there's another street, and it takes you to a nice little shop with mm -hmm. a few different clothing. Uh, w w were you looking for something in particular? She's just looking for, like, a uh, basic button-down shirt, just a skirt, okay. and then like, a couple little accessories. Sure, yeah, they're, e they're easily able to find something that fits you, and um, they charge you 500 points. Okay. For the whole thing. Okay. Okay. It fits nicely. All right. So she is going to stop off in a restroom real quick, kind of like make herself look halfway presentable, and then she's going to go back to go pick up Victor. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, before you go pick up Victor, what? Sorry. No, she's just like going to like make herself look presentable and then sure. go back. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay. You go back. Victor's all set to go. Um, he didn't dress up that much because he isn't, you know, he didn't go out and get anything else really. Yeah. Um, but he's wearing the jacket. Uh, he, you could tell he uh, made sure his hair was all good. <laughs> and uh, he is uh, ready to head to the aquarium. All right. So you start heading there. He has arms, you know, arms together. Mm -hmm. Eventually starts holding your hand after, you know, halfway through the walk. And uh, eventually you end up at the Ptolemy District. And the area is getting busier with all the sailors and everything that's happening. But eventually, let me go ahead and switch it here on roll 20 for you just so you can get a, at least a visual. Um, and you end up seeing the aquarium. And there's a small line of people there. So you end up kind of waiting in line a little bit. And Victor is like, Ptolemy Sfins, huh? Interesting name. Oh, so now you're the aquarium critic now, hmm? No, 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 no. But, uh, just wondering. Actually, all these names are pretty interesting, huh? They are. They are very interesting. What do you want to see most at this aquarium? Oh, I don't really know, to be honest. You know, there is one thing above all that I want to see at this aquarium. And what would that be? You smiling. Oh, I'm already smiling, darling. Don't worry about it. And she kind of like tucks her hair behind her ear. Can I have Victor roll perception? I've been commanded. <laughs> You've uh... been commanded. <laughs> let, me, let me pull this uh, character. Only if he's like extremely oblivious will he fail this roll. Victor's eyes better not deceive. Uh... <laughs> 17. For okay, he definitely shall receive. It. So, so when she she like tucks her hair uh, behind her ear on the one ear, it's got on the top of her ear it has a very coon like cuff on her ear, like an earring that's connected to a little dangly part that looks like a coon family earring. And then she kind of brushes her hair back and just smiles at him. Wait, wait, wait. So, so, so you're wearing Could you describe it one more time briefly? Like So, got, basically it's, it's like so, so yeah. the, the top part is like a little like cuff, like a little, uh, so like an ear cuff. Sure. So like it, yeah. it's like the little top part and then it's like connected to like a little dangly part that's like hooked to the ear lobe and like hangs down. Oh, hey, mm. what's that? Oh, I don't know. What did you see? I mean, that looks like he kind of motions over mm -hmm. something that's a little familiar. Would you get mm -hmm. this? Oh, I don't know. I went shopping. You should have told me. I would have gotten it for you. No. No, I wanted to surprise you. You broke. <laughs> I have plenty of money. I could have easily bought me something. We both uh, know that's not true, Victor. What do you mean? You, think, you really think they actually dried out my bank account? Yes. I saw your pocket. I have plenty of money left over. Mm-hmm. I do. Right. I do. Plus, all it takes is a little phone call, a little cry for help, and... Psh. You? Crying for help? Seriously? It's all an act. Nothing so <laughs> Sure. Sure. No. Mm -hmm. I think we should probably head inside. I think the line is about done. Yeah? Well, let's go. Well, by if you're way, so filthy rich, then you can buy the tickets. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I am taking you on a date well, after all. We'll see if your pocket declines. Technically, I was the one that suggested the date, so I should technically yeah, be putting the. Yeah, but you're kind of going back and forth, and he walks up, 
he pays it, it goes through. It's a thousand <laughs> per person. Like, Jeez, that's expensive. <laughs> and the person says, enjoy the finest aquarium in the tower. Oh, thank you. Something tells me they're lying, but we'll see what I'm saying. We'll, see. <laughs> well, Mr. You know, I know a lot about uh, fish. You will be the judge of this. So you will be able to judge if it is the mm, finest aquarium in the tower. I'll or do my not. research. I've done my research. We'll yes. see if it lives up to expectations. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So you're walking through the uh, the aquarium and it kind of leads down and uh, you're seeing signs with arrows pointing down and you get the impression you're starting to head under water. Oh. Uh, and it's going down and down and eventually it becomes, the walls turn into glass, as you can see through the glass, and you can see various creatures swimming through the water, and the reflection off of the sun above, which is also shining through the windows, um, and there's like lights that are lit above, a very dark blue hue that are kind of casting circles onto the ground that are moving around very slowly, and uh, the carpet is all dark blue, very clean, and uh, you're seeing some kids kind of pointing at the creatures, and, and uh, the parents, you know, pointing them out um and yeah it's a long hallway that leads down and it looks to be like this aquarium is mostly just you walk through and there's not many paths or any options aside from bathrooms and the like and um yeah you're seeing a variety of different creatures and victor kind of points out one of them that looks interesting uh it's kind of stuck to the the glass it looks like a black starfish and it kind of has spikes sticking out of the ends mm. never seen this one before or heard of this one can't say that I have either. Interesting. He kind of flicks the glass. Hmm. <laughs> and you end up keep walking and walking. You having fun? Oh, of course. I'm with you. You're not regretting this? Oh, when would I ever regret my time with you? Well, well, well. You hear a deep, booming voice coming from down the hall. And Victor's like, God, we were so close. He kind of just rolls his eyes. And you see uh, Thaddeo walking up to you. Hands no. in his pockets. I recognize you too. Ah, Mr. Thaddeo, how are you doing? Doing very well, enjoying this fine aquarium of our city. We are indeed. What are you doing here? Enjoying this fine aquarium of this fine city. Uh, understandable. <laughs> he kind of slaps his knee. <laughs> uh, where's Frog? Ah, uh, I don't know. I he had plans today, I believe. He went out earlier today, so he I don't know. Frowns. I thought we were having dinner tonight. Were was you? That? I was under the impression. Hmm. Oh. He's kind of deep in thought suddenly. You know, he really was a fine employee. <laughs> I'm sure he was. He's been nothing but a treat to our party. <laughs> right. Right. You seem worried. Is everything all right? No, 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 no. I simply wanted to have an opportunity to catch up with my esteemed employee. Pardon me for asking, but like... You seem very proud of him as a former employee, which I don't see many bosses taking that much of an interest in them. So were you very close? Of course we were, we were quite close. Oh. I guided him through many a thing, taught him everything I knew about business. Mm. And I hear he started his own business. He well, has indeed. Victor had chuckles under his breath. He's just like, don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything. <laughs> uh, and that little thing he has with him, too, the, little, the frog thing. Oh, he's quite great. Good at controlling it, I've noticed. Yeah. Although, Harris has his moments where he does his own thing, and I think it seems more like he controls Damien than Damien controlling Harris. But, you know, I guess that's a side effect of an anima, I guess. Right. Looks like he's going to say something, but then he just kind of... Listen, if you see him, tell him dinner's still on for tonight. I will indeed. 
Are you sure everything's all right? Why wouldn't it be? You can stop by my shop anytime, and if I'm there, I'll even give you a discount. <sighs> You're too kind. Now, I'm simply here with a friend of mine. We'll be on our way. Oh? And, uh... Is it a lady friend? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's simply a business associate of mine. Of course. You're a businessman doing business. Absolutely. In mm -hmm. fact, maybe he's met you before. He kind of motions, and uh, someone who was kind of standing in the shadows kind of steps forward, wearing a business suit, and uh, just kind of like a bowler hat. Clean shaven. They just reach out their hand. Oh, hello. This is my friend, John. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too. And he just does a, a formal bow, but nothing in particular to it. Roll perception for me. Oh, no. I'm nervous. You wanted me in this aquarium for a reason. I know it. Um, Perception? Yes. 19. This person looks familiar to you. you Gosh, I, I knew it! But you can't quite place it. A little weird. Okay. Well, I... okay. we must be going. We have meetings to attend to and the like. But remember, if, remember your friend. Uh, when, when, when my business associate comes, make sure he brings all of his belongings. All of his belongings? Yes, I, I have a gift for him and wish to add to his collection. Why would he need to bring all of his belongings? Like, Eden gets, like, weirdly serious from being cordial just a second ago. <laughs> I said the wrong thing. I simply meant... No, you meant... didn't. I'm sorry? No, you didn't. Like, you said hey, exactly hey, what you meant. It's going good. Kind of just slow whispers, kind of like, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Why would you need all of his belongings? I don't need all of his belongings. Well, then I'll be sure to extend your pleasantries once again, and hopefully he'll be able to take you up on your offer. Let's go, John. And they start uh, walking down the hall. You know, I'm not even upset about that exchange. I'm just upset that we didn't have a date. But it wasn't interrupted. I don't know how many times we've tried. It's never happened. Agreed. And I can tell you were annoyed. Don't let it, don't let it, don't let it destroy anything. All right, we're having a good time, right? We're having fun, right? Victor. Just, okay. I, bear with me for a second. Yeah. I'm He's I'm obsessed a with getting those scissors back. Oh, come on. You're... I wouldn't look into it that much. You didn't notice that? He's a, maybe he real. Maybe he's just wanting to make a business deal with them. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Victor. But I don't get the impression the guy is a threat. He does. Sweetheart. I don't even think he's a regular. Sweetheart. You don't ask somebody over to dinner and tell them to bring all of their possessions. Unless he's That's a collector, or maybe, no. he, maybe he does want Damien's stuff. But I'm sure That's if he does, weird. they'll come to some kind of business agreement. Come, That's just, alarming. Let's just. Can we just look at more fish? I want to see the fish, please. <sighs> sorry, sorry. If you're annoyed, I'll listen. I'm not annoyed. I am troubled about Damien and his relationship. Because, Victor, I've had bosses in my day. They don't care about their employees like that. Ever. Ever. And he's meant every time we've seen him, he's mentioned it. And Damien was very uncomfortable meeting him again. Look, I don't doubt that you're right. I'm always right, and you know that. That's true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you're right, you're right. I'll admit, sometimes I let my heart triumph over my brain. Oh, please. For example, please. you and mm. I being together. No, that came out wrong. That's not. Well, that's not wait a minute. No, wait no, no, no. a minute. I'm simply saying. Did your brain say not to date me, but your heart said otherwise? No, 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 no. That's not. That came out wrong. I didn't mean it that sure. way. Honestly. <laughs> it's... Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry. That's not what I meant. 
what I meant to say. Just cocked an eyebrow at him like. It would, what I mean to say is my heart and my love for you is so strong. There's some kids walking Don't by Don't try like, to cover this up with cheesiness. That's what, that's what I meant. My, what I'm saying is my heart is so much bigger than my brain. I understand I said it wrong. I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. Are you saying you're, you're stupid and you have heart disease? Yes. I am stupid. You know this. <laughs> And, and I'm sure I have a heart disease, yes. Victor, oh my gosh. Now come on, let's go look at some You're not fish. gonna get away from this. You are gonna <laughs> let's have go, to explain let's go whatever it is that you meant about that comment. I'll explain as we go, come on. Sure. And uh, he just starts leading you down further into the aquarium. The only, you know, more fish, more interesting creatures, like all kinds of, uh, colored fish that look pretty normal, just kind of like uh, different colors and little spikes and stuff. Um, mm. But you do also see uh, these long eels with like horns on their head that look very interesting. The horns are like the size of their body. Um, oh my gosh. And you also see what appear to be Moby Bames swimming around in the water, <gasps> uh, kind of encircling each other, kind of in a circle. And, oh, I uh, thought they were land fish or land snakes, but they water snakes too. We'll love that. I'll tell him about them. <laughs> 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 and after a nice long tour of all these different things, the very end, mm -hmm. there's an arrow that points to a separate room that says Ptolemy. Yo, he's going what? You got to. Above the table, you got to. You got to. I knew we this need was to know. coming. We I need knew to know. it. What? I need to know how they milk it, my is boy. The, is this the guy that like runs the aquarium? Must be, right? Ptolemy's fins. Yeah. Ptolemy district. Right. This guy probably owns the district or something. Let's go check out. Where are we gonna go? Alright, let's go. The walkway ends up growing pretty large and expansive to the right and to the left. And it's leading oh, you no. down, down further and further and further, uh, down into the sea level. And the lighting is getting more and more dim and a little more green than usual. Mm. Um, but eventually, you kind of go straight again, no longer heading down. And it widens into this massive room with all kinds of chairs as well to sit. Tons and tons and tons of chairs. And there's some people sitting, like, pointing. And then toward the back of this huge, like, auditorium, basically. This looks like a huge auditorium. Uh -huh. uh, there's this huge large enormous glass that is set up and behind the glass you see this absolutely gigantic monstrously large white creature it looks to be the biggest squid you've ever seen Ew. and along its entire body are hundreds and hundreds of beating beady yellow eyes that are all like slowly blinking and unblinking <laughs> And it has all these tentacles, and it's kind of packed in there too. It's just oh, so y'all was drinking water, spider milk. That's crazy. <laughs> spider milk. Bro, I thought yeah. it was a dolphin, bro. Oh no. Ah. Bro, y'all drink that. Drink that. that mouth, bro. No. Ew. <laughs> Mm. Oh, spider milk. Mm. Spider milk. Oh, spider milk. We can't let this get out to the public, bro. It'll ruin the city. <laughs> yeah, the no, no. This is lock that is... down, bro. <laughs> um, yeah. Victor says that's super cool. Look at that thing. That's awesome. You you think that's cool? Why not? Looks pretty cool to me. There's so many eyeballs on it. It's a little creepy, I'll admit, but like, that's kind of what makes Ugh. it cool. Right? That's, nope, that's, that's a nope for me. That's a, nope, hey. that's too many eyeballs. Kind of motions, Ugh. hey kids, kids, what, 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 what is this thing? And there's a kid that kind of runs, because they're playing around. Th that's Ptolemy. He's lived for thousands of years. He's like the Lord of the Sea. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. And there's even a legend that the milk of the Ptolemy will make you live forever. <laughs> oh. Is that, is that so? Huh. Oh. Cool. Wow, how interesting. Mythology. Mythology. Oh. Mission. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's a living legend. Hmm. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs>
no, above the table, is it ink and they're just calling it milk? Like, what is this? Because this is disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? It's, it's a secret. Milk. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Somebody better roll insight. <laughs> Can't insight check a kid. They're just saying what they know. No, nah, insight <laughs> check the squid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it talks. Well, you want to look into those eyes, bro. No, I don't. <laughs> you might dislike snakes. Eden dislikes things with a ton of eyeballs. It's like, oh. Especially it's all over the... Ugh. But, uh... But not, but... <laughs> What'd you say? Good milk, though. <laughs> Good milk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good bang for the buck, you know? Um, so, eventually, after staring at the squid for a little while longer, you end up leaving, and that's the end of the aquarium trip. Okay. So, did you have fun? Sure! So, no, you... Yeah, it was date. great. We saw lots of things swimming in <laughs> water. We sure did. That's what an <laughs> aquarium's all about, isn't it? Wow. It sure is. Wow. It sure is. <laughs> Did you have fun? I did. Cool. Did you learn any new spear attacks, Mr. Flying Fish? Oh, that's that's what you're gathering. No, 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 no. Mm. The fish names are more for style points. Of course, of course. Yeah. But, you know, thanks a lot. It, it meant a lot that you would have uh, wanted to come here. Really. Well, I realized my missed opportunity after all the fireworks, and I was like... I need to make that up to you. So, that's what I did. Next time, mm -hmm. we'll go where you want to go. Uh, I don't really have many places I want to go. I just like being with the people I trust. He kind of just puts an arm around you and starts walking. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out together then. Yeah. And then at this point, we're going to briefly cut to Brack. Brack, what are you up to? Above the table, what time is it? This point, it's like early afternoon, 11 to 12. Uh, okay, so I guess given the options, Brack goes back, well, no, actually, no. He knows now, so he can do this. All right, so Brack finally says, visible mode, opens up his pocket. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, Pulls Brad out Jordan. his glasses. <laughs> glasses? Breakfast glasses? And then he tries to figure out. Please tell me they're gag glasses. <laughs> <laughs> then he tries to figure out how to call everyone, how to do a mass call. <laughs> where, where are you currently? Uh, I'm walking back from the uh, from Reggie. From so Reggie's. okay, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, go ahead and make a uh, an observer check, so like a wisdom roll, wisdom roll. Oh, Rack with his like la his lab coat and clipboard on. <laughs> He's putting like a vial into a thing and explodes. I don't I have an observer, there. but I rolled a nineteen. Or oh, that's yeah. I'm just sort of using that to yeah. You're good. Oh, okay. you're, yeah. you're able to figure it out. Absolutely no problem. <laughs> all all right. So then he calls them all up, and then as he starts out with "Hello, everyone." This is Big Brack Enterprises talking to you all from the comfort of his own pocket. I'm here to inform you that our associate, Mr. Frog and Little Frog have both been sent on a top secret mission for the Yon family. What? Now, now I have per pressing matters that I have to attend to at eight. But if you all are for kicking open their doors around 8.30, 9-ish. Uh, let's, let's say 9-ish. I think it's going to take a little longer, Brack, if you're Wait. talking about what I think you're talking about. But yeah. Br Brack, are you talking about going up against the Yeon family? Eh, that's a stupid idea. We don't want to do that. We're not. We don't we're have not to go against Wait, them. Wait. Just apply a little bit of Did pressure. Did Damien say that he wanted us to come? No, he didn't. But, you know. Come on now. When 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 have we ever did what someone wanted? <laughs> what hey guys, I'm just gonna make the wild crazy suggestion that maybe we just let Damien do his own thing. He doesn't That's seem like he's in any immediate trouble. What exactly did he say? He didn't say much. Just said that they put him on a mission, he'll be back later, <laughs> and blah blah blah. What's later? Like 
He didn't specify. He was vague. I, I said a couple of days. Gene, <laughs> <laughs> you're learning. You cannot give instructions to Brack. No, this is going exactly how I thought it would. <laughs> you gotta let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Just process. Milios remembers Brack doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well, we, uh, I kind of agree with John on this one. Uh, at least give it a day. If he really needed us, I'm sure he would have been a little bit more urgent about it. And plus, this is his. I mean, he grew up here, so he would know it better than anyone. So I'm willing to trust if he said he was all right that he's all right all right i was just testing the waters anyway he, okay. yeah okay well, um, i'm just saying I, before we go barging into the yon estate i just robbed a store yesterday so you, you what <laughs> oh, i <laughs> forgot everybody didn't know about that um, well, <laughs> well now you we explain what, yourself what <laughs> So I accidentally robbed uh-huh, a store uh-huh, yesterday, uh-huh. Um, and they definitely know about it. But I don't think anybody's gonna come looking for us as long as we don't cause any more trouble. What store did you steal from? Uh, the Bartimus family's potion. Oh my uh, gosh! You what? Uh, That's the up. last one I would have. Later, yeah. later, later. Let, let, let's be honest here. The Bartimus has deserved this. Like <laughs> they've been a pain in our butt since the second floor. They deserve I... this. I well, know I that. I just wanted to Cut test the potions to make sure they weren't the fake thing that they were peddling before, but he, he drank the potion and then he fainted and I didn't know what to do, so I took the bottles and I ran. Oh my, that's not what you, you call her assistance. You you get the but authorities I, I, I actually, involved. I, 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 I struck him first. You... I didn't, it's not what Will? it sounds like. I just Will? struck him so that I could get him to test the potion. You mean it's not what it sounds like? It sounds like you assaulted a man. Did you not assault a man? He was gonna be good as new. If he just drank the potion, he was gonna sell me. And if he didn't want to be assaulted, he was trying to sell me was fake and it didn't work. And then he scrambled to the back and drank some weird green thing. And then uh, look, it, what's done is done. Okay. Is he That's alive? Uh, Mizad when the rest said that he had a pulse when they dragged him back there. You're, 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 you're trusting your we're anima. Getting, we're getting off topic. We're getting off no, topic. No, we're not. No, we're not. This is not. very much the topic of discussion. This, yes, we can't help. If he's dead. Like, he's she's like dead. real quiet. He's she's still in public. And, and if he is dead, I didn't kill him. He killed himself. After you struck oh him. God. Light? I just wanted to test the potion. Look, man. Look, you. this is on you. I'm sorry. Like, normally I'm on your side about this thing. But this is on you. Straight up. But okay. Why well, don't um, okay? Uh, look, look, okay. How about this? It's on me. I'm not worried. So you guys don't need to be worried. And leave. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. I'm oh, always worried about you, you, large next, children. In trouble. Oh my gosh. Damn. Like Sounds we awful. should all know by now not to trust the Bartimus potions. They're all fake unless they're for their own family. I, hell, I had to dance with the old creepy right, geezer. Right, and that's why I did them a favor and I disposed of the remaining 40 bottles. But you don't know what they are. And they won't hurt anybody anymore. They're gone. What'd you do with them? I destroyed them. Inside check. <laughs> 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 I don't. I don't trust who on this. He does not destroy stuff. He steals. <laughs> That's true. You, real counter insight. Woo. No one can escape Hannah's insight checks. <laughs> I've been holding off Dude, this whole game. She's making me make insight checks. It's crazy. Uh, I know. No one safe. Exception <laughs> check for a cute moment. Okay. I, I got a nine, bro. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fourteen. Okay, I didn't destroy them. I have them. That's what I thought. But no one will find them. And that makes it okay, Wu? Look, it's not okay. I was just, I thought, you know what? Okay, I'm my bad. I did a bad thing. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Don't let them guilt trip you, Wu. That's money. <laughs> money for the syndicate. <laughs> you stop, stop. You're making it worse. Wait. <laughs> You're making it worse. Please. Breck, so you knew? Of course Brack knew. 
This is robbery we're talking about. <laughs> Whenever we're dealing with something at least slightly criminal, the syndicate is always there. <laughs> oh my. Every day I feel like more and more of an outsider. Okay. <sighs> well, right, if guys, you get arrested again. for it, it's on you, and I'm not bailing you I out of jail. Just like Victor said, my problem, you guys don't have to worry about it. Yeah, again, hate to be the voice of reason here, but Wu, despite the behavior he's displayed, I think is technically considered an adult. So if he makes a problem for himself, he can get out of it. I I agree, but I also don't want to be painting targets on not only our backs, but our faces and our chests and our arms and everywhere else. Because like I, like I said, I don't think the Bardemis family is well respected out here, and I don't think anybody's gonna do anything which can't cause any more problems. I'm more worried about the Yon family causing us or coming after us rather than the Bardem. We can handle the Bardemis as whatever. I can that old geezer, you know, he was. No, I mean, I, they're not if I need to, here, I can wrap them around my finger. That's not a problem. It's the Yon family no, no, that no, no, controls no. this floor. I'm worried Wait, about. What, what I'm saying is I don't think the Yon family cares about the Bartimus shop. You That's say that, but they have a prominent shop in the middle of the Pascal district, which is like the Hootie Tootie place. Prominent. I guarantee you go there today and you'll be the only customer. Yeah, because you knocked out the only of... employee. <laughs> Shang has a point. Okay, why are we still talking about this? <laughs> you brought it up. Damien so, will be fine, right? That's all we got to worry about. Oh, there go. uh, about that. So he was supposed to have like a dinner with his boss tonight and we kind of ran into him today. Um. Regulus? Oh, Dio. <laughs> Did you ask him about those, uh, his name the hotel those rooms? Things, but sure. Whatever you guys want to call him. He said something that I'm still weirded out. Victor thinks I'm a little off on this read, but he wanted us to tell Damien to make sure he brings all of his possessions to this dinner. And I think that's just really weird. Yeah, yeah well, isn't Damien really weird? No, Damien. I mean, are we putting it past him that that's not something he would do? Well, I mean, like, just... In my experience with general company, when you ask somebody out to dinner or to treat them to dinner, you're not like, hey, bring everything you own. It's a little off. Look, Eden, yeah. all I'm saying is let's not go looking for trouble, okay? No, that's my point. I think I'll, we should I'll, keep I'll, Damien away from him. I'll say this. Eden's usually right about this kind of thing. Always right, actually. And hmm. uh, she you has you well trained, my no, Wow, Victor I'm, said that. I'm, that's surprising. I'm, I'm being serious. She sent Victor something was off, there. and I trust her. I weird. believe you, but he's getting us a hotel room at the nicest place in town, so Damien can I, suffer to a dinner. I, I wouldn't trust that. That's that's well, the Damien's go-to right move. Well, yeah, exactly, Brack. You understand. When you want somebody to bring all their stuff, you're probably going to take it or kill the person to take it. I, I just, I got a bad feeling and I don't know what it was but he had a business associate with him and okay i will look I, I into i kind of recognize him but i can't place him what do you mean you recognize them? i don't know i just how do you recognize somebody but not recognize somebody it was just a feeling i i don't know it was well the whole encounter was odd the and fact I of the matter is we don't know when damien's gonna be back and he's with the eon family anyway so this whole dinner thing doesn't really matter it's not like he's right. gonna show I up just, I just wanted no. you all to be aware to maybe like avoid Thaddeo for a no, while. No, that, 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 that now that I know, That's I boss. think I'm gonna get a little closer to Dio. What? <laughs> you you wanna get closer? Yeah, then we can figure out what he's up to. On one condition, Wu, I go with you because it's pretty clear that when I'm not there, you mess everything up. So Okay, I just need yeah. you to Keep an open mind. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. Okay. And I think we need to be very careful about this. Could everyone tell me where they are right now? Like exact location? Uh I mean, I'm imagining Victor and I are walking like out of the Ptolemy district through the Pascal district back okay. to the hotel. Perfect. I'm a... Yeah. I'll Actually we're we're walking to the we're walking into 
into the Pascal district. Uh, same. I'm same going from right. the bar to Pascal. I was saying I'm probably in the Pascal district as well because it's not yeah. that far between the two. Okay, and then John. Uh, John was getting ready to leave the hotel, so he'd be in whatever district that hotel is in. Got you. Okay. We're going to cut to Damien. Damien, oh. during that hour of preparation, you were able to get a new lighthouse. They furnished you with one. You were able to fiddle around with it. Much higher quality than your other one. This is made of some fine material. Um <laughs> And, uh, you know, it, it works perfectly fine for you. It came in pink, but you were you are able to change the color if you would like. Uh, yeah. So I'll leave that up to you. Um, Pink's a cool color, but, <laughs> but go with green. green. Sure. Okay, okay. Um, and eventually, you you know, supplies were acquired, and Vaughn and Fawn led you to an outer door, kind of down this little path that le led to a little docking area by the Yon District. And they are boarding and motioning for you to board as well. The ship looks very nice, um, very clean. It's uh, kind of hovering over the water, you know? Uh, so made of steel or some kind of really hardy material. And there's a nice steering wheel and all kinds of controls and Vaughn sits in the control seat. Wow, and then would it be, uh, you know, would it be okay if I drove? Cause I've never done this before. <laughs> They both just stare at you. I'll take that as a kind of yes. It, it it was a no. Okay, I'll take that as a no. Maybe maybe take, on the way take, back. Take it. Okay, just takes good, a good, deep good. breath through his nose and just <laughs> exhales. Just takes forever. Good talk. It's and no, it's all good. Don't worry. I mean, you know, I feel like we're gonna be a great team. Like honestly, like I think we're we're doing pretty well so far. <laughs> Above the yeah, table. Yeah, you're right. So much chemistry. <laughs> These yeah, two you know. have no idea what they just signed up for. <laughs> no, not whatsoever. They have no idea. <laughs> a few know. things. Uh, a few things I want to add. Um, so um, this being a frog thing, um, you know, maybe just like let me take the lead. You know. Sure, that is the point of all this. Yeah, and uh, maybe don't you know use your burn burn moves uh, right away. Okay, unless we're in any immediate danger. Let's try and investigate the cause, kind of thing. You know. Yeah. Sure. Oh, and and uh, I let me drive. No, that is where we draw the line. <laughs> All right, fair enough. At least two of my three conditions were met. Race Velger like jumps onto the boat, and you can tell he wants to drive as well. <laughs> can we get Race a pirate hat, please? <laughs> yes, the new syndicate and... branch, pirate branch. Grace Velger kind of hops over to Vani. Get that thing away from me. Oh, he's cool. Don't worry about him. Grace Velger kind of hops back towards you. I swear he's really nice. Disgusting. Just, you know. I mean, maybe a little bit, but, like, he's really quite nice. Let's get to know him. I mean, yeah, he's kind of a thief and kind of does bad things. And oh, yeah, sure. They start, they start driving. Yeah. I, I'm done. I'm done my speech now. I'm done. I'm done talking. I'm good. Are you guys good? Because I'm good to go. <laughs> oh, do you think we could get some water though before we go go on we the have, trip? Because like we have I might supplies. Get really Please shut. Oh, very cool. Door. You guys are so prepared. This is why this is gonna be a great team. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, I forgot to use the washroom. I think that, like, you think we could just maybe go back? This is only the first ten minutes. <laughs> I swear, it'll only be two minutes. It'll be They're gonna drop the school back I, at the I, front door. <laughs> Take him back. We don't need him. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, let the frogs take over. <laughs> hey, Damien, I have an idea. Oh, hey, what's up? There's this game that we like to play called. Oh, I love. I, I love. I love tic tac toe too. I always win. There was this one time I was playing checkers for a test, believe it or not, and like I wiped the floor with him. It wasn't even funny. It was so good. <laughs> Did you guys ever do anything like like that when you were climbing the tower? Suddenly, the tips of her hair start to kind of light up. <laughs> that was an above the table and a and a end game burn right there. <laughs> oh, it sure was. Joe was dying uh, on the inside. 
Oh, it's it's okay. All right, that's that's uh, you know I, it I, I know like when to let you win. That's just what it sounds like to me. But whatever you say, <laughs> whatever you say. Oh, I, uh, I don't know if anything I said made it seem like I let but, him, like he let me win. But like I was wiping the floor with him. The tips like, of her <laughs> hair start to kind of light up, and you can see them kind of sparking. If you don't shut. Oh, that's that's please. that's really cool. <laughs> that's all. It's, it's just really cool. Silence. That's all I had to say. Right, okay, zipping up, zipping it. You're right, I'm gonna be quiet, all right? I know this is gonna be a long trip for everyone, so, you know. Just gonna make sure that we um, just stay stay focused on the job, right? I can do that, Damien like, can do that. Suddenly, Vaughn starts to drive way faster and the engine's kind of <laughs> like making a loud noise, like kind of starting to drown out your voice. Oh man, you see, this is why I wanted to drive. Oh, these things go real fast. Oh my gosh, I never got to do this. this I really missed out, you know? And the boat just continues to drive along the water, and eventually you, you turns the corner, and you see the mainland coming into view. And as you're driving along, you you can see in the distance the coast, the trees, and uh, you're wondering what's about to happen next. And that's I where we're going to end today's episode. No! Everyone, something that is green. You're right. On. Praise Velger. Ah, oh, you got it again. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my that was God. honestly not the way I expected to end that episode, but I love it. But it it works. <laughs> Wait, it works. you didn't expect that? That's what you're telling me? You didn't expect Damien to be Damien? Come on now. I'm not saying it was bad, but but no, I'm just, ugh. amazing. Good episode, everybody. Hey, can we Next just take a moment to appreciate that times ten? Huh? Like, that was like the most slice of life episode we've had in no <laughs> since the second floor. It honestly. was. It definitely was. I feel like we needed one. It had been a while. But, uh, yeah. No, good episode all around. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and tuning in. Next episode, we'll see what's going on with Damien, the Yan family. We'll see what's happening with everybody else back on the Pascal. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a mm. like. We'd appreciate that. Everyone's links are down below. And, uh, yeah. Anyone else want to say anything? Oh, that last sequence got me weak. <laughs> <laughs> They were all they were all real concerns though. I know they were. Damien sure. is a very thorough boy. The yeah. the meta gaming in it along with the actual gaming in it was just See, we can funny. ignore the meta gaming part. <laughs> we can ignore that. Uh, yeah, no, I, mean, I, was, I was telling a story. I legit question. Uh Isaiah, yeah. did 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 Jong figure out what to say? Oh I guess we'll have to wait till next week and find oh, out. Wow, wait, you can't do that. You can't do that. I don't know. I mean, the episode is over. I, I, I don't oh, know what happens. Oh my god. That's not I'm gonna have to separate you two. You know what, Joe? <laughs> You're right. This feels good. Yeah, you guys, you guys are sick. <laughs> I'm kind of nice. I'm just as curious you as guys spent too much time together. I'm gonna have to separate you two, man. I take it all guys. back. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, but yeah, thanks again, everybody. Uh, join the Discord. Links down below. Don't forget to like. We'll see you next Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, continuing the arc. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Who will live? Bye -bye. Who will die? Ha! <laughs> <laughs>